All good. We're up. We are up. All right. Good morning. Uh oh, there it is. We're on the right. Okay. Wow. All right. Good morning, everyone watching and listening later. It's the Kirk Minahan show presented by Barstool Sports and Tommy John and Milton's today. Good morning to everyone out there. What's uh what's going on, boys? What do we have? We're just glad you're here. Dave was very concerned. You were? Yeah, there was no Incredibly no tweet. Oh. No sign of you this morning. What was I supposed to do? For the first time ever, between Steve or Dave or Justin Carano, anyone producing, mm -hmm. for the first time ever I heard someone go, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I wasn't going to show up. I mean, we said Wednesday. No, I, knew, I, I knew you would show up, but yeah, you know there's quote, some activity. If I can quote the man himself. Yeah. The, just a lot of crazy stuff going on out there. And Did then he pauses. Killed? And then he pauses and he goes, and he's right in the thick of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. You should really say that? <laughs> he did. Yeah, in, in a sarcastic tone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't think anybody should be too concerned. I don't think. but I anyway. was. Yeah, well, here I am. I'm here. <laughs> I made God. it. I got, I got through brave. it. Oh, my God. Got through it. So, there we go. Um, There's been, like, no new media updates from the Anna Walsh story, really. Except one stopped, guy. Glad you stopped calling her Walshy, which you did the other night. Couple, no, I've said it multiple times to Mike, I think, this morning. He I still don't really He said know. Walsh a few times, and I thought it maybe it was a nickname. Yeah. Anna <laughs> that I wasn't aware of. Yeah. 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 Not Walshy. Okay. Interesting uh, way to spell that last name. It's done sometimes like yeah. that. Okay. Um, yeah, not too, I guess not too much. I saw BZ, somebody had this story about how he had been in some psychiatric stuff since he was like 13, which right. is interesting. I mean, his story, it's an interesting story. I mean, actually, yeah. I'll give the local news. I was killing them a couple of days ago, but they're doing a good job. They're kind of, they're, you can tell they're digging in now and everyone's talking. We can't, I can't get any of these friends, but they're, everyone, everyone's talking to these friends except for us. So yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. I didn't uh, know. I don't, we didn't talk about this on air. I think it might've came out right as we left, mm -hmm. but did he really Google how to dismember a body? 115 pound body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oddly, I hope she doesn't weigh 115 pounds. I think she that does. Be she, quite a coincidence. For the odds. Oh, no. Uh, dumbest criminal. I mean, you know, <laughs> if that's what it is. If he did it, yes. I, I mean, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm not given the conspiracy, but I'm like, can he be that dumb? I, I don't know. Do you panic that much after you do something like that? Where you just start doing crazy? I, I mean, maybe. like, you know, just crazy stuff. Yeah. Like I was saying to Dave earlier, like, when I Google shit, just read, that's going to be weird. I think like, oh, what if I, what if something happens and someone sees my phone? Right. I'm not, I'm not just remembering him, bodies. I would do that, but I would also mix up a few like, geez, like what do you do when, you know, your next door neighbor kills your wife? Like I just Google other stuff Random to have the cops, shit. you know, be like, you know, what now do you do if you're really now you're thinking like a murderer? Yeah. If you're okay. if you're really <laughs> fellas, why don't you calm down over there? If you're a really like great guy and you would never do something like that, yeah, right. you know, I, I don't know. Right. If she falls down the stairs, something. I don't, right. you know, I don't want to give people any tips out there, but Jesus Christ! Oh, this guy's a total piece of shit. I mean, fucked up. You think so? Family? Yeah. 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 What gives you that idea? What do you mean this face? Is is is, is the his kids? Kids? Yeah, but even like his going wife? Oh, his years dad. and years. His wife really got yeah, fucked up. She did. Yeah, she started. Well, yeah, and they haven't found her yet, unfortunately. I mean, borrowed. He borrowed like a half million dollar from a college roommate, never paid them back. Yeah, no, this guy's a lunatic. Yeah. Total lunatic. And I don't know, I don't quite know how, what, I never know how people like this get mad. We, although we don't really know nothing about her. So we're, we're digging in a little bit, Mike, to yeah. answer your question. Right. A little yeah. bit, but we've got, you know, we've got a lot of irons in the fire right now. You know so what's kind of crazy actually, to me that, and everyone keeps going back to the Warhol paintings and everything. Yeah, yeah. Is, is he paid back 30000 of the eighty? Media. Right, so he owed fifty, and then mm -hmm. they're taking out like all these mortgages for homes and stuff like that. Like, couldn't he have I mean, found they, they a way? They bought the house in D.C., right? Yeah, it was like one point four or something. Yeah. Or 1. And they 2. sold the place in uh, Quasic for what, one point three or something. Yeah, yeah. But he, he loaned his books. mom loaned him like a couple hundred thousand dollars. Is that, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. But like fifty thousand dollars, and none of that shit would be out. I'm sure that caused a lot of problems in the family. Obviously, yeah. so it's just I don't know, it's just. It's very yeah. We was I'm working as you know, Dave. We got some some stuff there, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Um, what do you got on the house burning down? I don't know. That coincidence, please. That's what you have on it. Yeah, well, that's good. True we can run with that. On it, we can rhyme. We can run with that. Does not maybe. believe it's a coincidence. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I mean, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave did. Uh, you didn't see Mike, but Dave did his quote tweets. And he said coincidence. So if yeah. he does that in front of oh, the jury. Oh, oh, I did, yeah, yeah, I don't have that then, luxury. Then we're all that, set. Yeah, I don't have any blind people on the jury because they can't <laughs> see the, they can't see the quote signs for that. Right. Yes. Um. Yeah. So anyway. Uh. Yeah. So we're working on that. Obviously on the case as well. A bunch of stuff. Um. A lot of stuff. Busy few months. I forget. You know, Sounds Maine's like. only a couple months away. Uh. Uh. You know, I think we'll be in 
Worcester in a couple of weeks. Uh, well, yes. about a month, I guess. You're going tomorrow? I got to text Justin to see if he can do tomorrow morning. Yeah. Tomorrow morning? Okay. Yep. Tomorrow morning. A grill or on see the if hill. you want to do something. I don't. I don't, know. I don't want to. <laughs> Well, not go with me, but if you wanted to do case related stuff in here. No, I'm. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, no, I do, I do not want to do. There's a lot of things I don't want to do anymore that I will not do. Like sure. I will. This is not for the show. It's not a joke. Like I had such a miserable experience with that Shattuck show the other night. Like I just <laughs> would never want it. People think I'm kidding. <laughs> right. Like don't ask me to go on these shows. I right. don't want. I just don't want to do them. I just. I just don't. I'm at the point in my life, I just don't want to do them anymore. Dave saw this yesterday. I just don't I don't want to do these things. Yeah. I've abided by that rule before yes. it was ever mandated. Yes. I was, are yes. you talking about last night? Yeah. That was the dumbest thing I've ever By seen. me? No, by him. Unbelievable. Well, I, I mean, I don't even get so Steve Robinson. I want him to be a guest, but you Steve, need to write a picture. Steve Robinson texted oh. me yesterday uh, in the afternoon and says, uh, Newsmax wants to know if you're interested in coming on uh, regarding Anna Walsh. I don't know exactly what the details are, and I'm only letting you know because I figure you might want to taunt Jerry. I'll give you the book or your email if you're interested. He's a big Minna fan. And I said, absolutely, sure. You know, if it's a, a case thing to to uh, to pitch, then, you know, we're, we're happy not? to go on and, and, and publicize him. So um, uh, Dave sends me this last night. Hi, Dave. This is Bradley Stein from Newsmax. I understand Steve reached out to you about our interest in having Kirk on National Report. I'm going to be pitching him as a guest to our executive producer tomorrow and just want to nail down the relevant facts as they relate to Kirk and the Anna Walsh case. If you could just send me a brief synopsis of what Kirk's involvement in the case is and uh, what he's been able to uncover uh, through sources so far, present it all to the team and try and get you an answer on whether we want him tomorrow. <laughs> you can send this via text or email me at bradleys at newsmax.com. Best, Bradley. Bradley, fuck you. That's what, as my. It's an leader. interesting way to do that. You, look, look. I mean, you like have me on or don't have me. I don't care if you don't want to have me on. Like that's fine. Like that doesn't matter to me. But to have me tap dance for you to go on, you know, uh, Goebbels air. I'm all set. Like you know, you. I, I don't. I don't need. I, I. I don't need that in my life to go on and. Yeah, I'm doing this and that. Do the research yourself, stupid. Like right. I, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, why not, are you asking? It's you? not Dave's job. It's not my job. You're pitching it. You're pi yeah, I'm pitching it. So give me everything so I can read it. Bradley Stein, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. Drop dead. Fuckhead. Leave me alone. Get the fuck out of my life. Go back to making up COVID bullshit and fucking blowing DeSantis and Trump and doing whatever you want and fucking fucking fuck off. You fucking piece of shit. Your dad's a piece of shit. Your mother's a piece of shit. Your brother's a piece of shit. Your kids are shit. Fuck you, fuckhead. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wow. I mean, I, I just have no patience for that. I fucking hate people like that. Bradley Stein is the biggest piece of dog shit <laughs> God has ever fucking created, ever fucking cummed out in his life. Unbelievable. I don't know how he made it through. I don't know his dad. I don't know, I, I don't know he's the one that made it through when fucking Daddy Stein blew it and Mama Stein. The other ones must have been fucking pathetic. Did this fucking idiot got to swim through to be like, hey, you know, hey, uh, you know, and if everything goes right, everything goes right, Kirk can go on our nation. Oh, wow. What a fucking thrill that'll be to be on after Jerry Callahan is telling us again about somebody getting their tits ripped off at Children's Hospital. That's what I need in my fucking life. Jesus Christ. Yeah. These fucking 80 year olds watching that show with their fucking hearing aids. Give me a fucking break in there. <laughs> I mean, what are we fucking doing here? You know, before they put their fucking robes on. I got to deal with the, I mean, really, Jesus fucking Christ. Bradley Stein's the biggest asshole. I fu I've never hated anybody as much in my life. Fuck you and fuck your stupid fucking show. I would never go on that show now. Never, never, ever. And by the way, before anybody gets too into their stupid shit, if this was whatever the left's version of this was and they did the same thing, I'd tell them to go fuck off too. Like, what are we fucking doing here? And Jerry Callahan, of course, typical loser, he'll go on there. He would fucking suck Bradley Stein's cock let him come down his throat on his fucking face for 30 cents on that show. That True. goes double for that loser. The fucking pride of wherever. Fucking mama and daddy of Coney's fucking <laughs> batch of shit. Get a draft ready, yeah. Ironhead. <laughs> Jeez. You know, Craig of Coney with his son banging his head against the wall somewhere. Well, I mean, I just don't really... Oh, I can't... No, I can say... On my show, I can say gay and retard. <laughs> but if Kirk makes fun of my kid, I get all pissy. Fuck you too, you doosbacks profiting cocksucker. He's come a long way since. I mean, really, get the fuck away from me. Go away. Just fucking leave me alone. Bradley. Jesus, what? Bradley, come on. No, either a Coney too. He's just as bad. What if I told you Craig gives a Bradley swirlies around the Newsmax? <laughs> Wouldn't office. surprise me. Wouldn't surprise That's what I'm me. Saying. He's on Jerry, your side. They have a rule on that. You can't make fun of uh, Craig's kids when Jerry goes on there. Uh, 
uh, everything's, a everything's fair game. Be unusual. Everything's <laughs> fair game and go and, you know, essentially sexually assault Clemmer's wife. But like, you know, Jesus. what? True or false? I mean, the woman. I, I didn't see any evidence. But, so you have no evidence of that? No, I have. Right, well, I'll back off on that one. Thank you. But you can harass her to the point that she had to go away to an a institution for a while. True. That's the only reason that's ever been given for leaving my uh, Patreon. Correct. Is Craig's harassment. Yes, is, is endless <laughs> harassment of women. Yes. Which is, I mean, really the Harvey Weinstein of Newsmax or whatever he is, five five six fucking. What is it? I believe that's no uh, five fifty. Five fifty, whatever. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know, I mean, he adds a lot to that fucking. Why are you laughing? Why? Well, why he's there? He plays clips. I know why I'm not laughing because fucking Craig's there. Get rid of him. Uh, Jesus. I'll, I'll consider. I get so annoyed. I get so fucking annoyed with stuff like that. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. I think you probably tell. It's it drives amateur. me it's fucking amateur. crazy. And I do like Craig, despite all his weaknesses. He's, he's all right. And, it, and I do like his kid. I'm, I'm, of course, kidding because he was sensitive about yes. that. As I would be about my children. I'm sure Craig's a very good dad. Yes. Mike has told me off uh, air, very hands-on as a father. <laughs> yes. I True don't know or why. false? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you put an emphasis on that, but I say that. He's what? a hands-on dad. very yeah. hands-on right. yeah. as a dad. You can construe my words however you like. And yeah. the eyebrow raises I give That's you. That's fine. You know? no, yeah. no, no, no. Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> you know, limited person, but a good guy. And I'm kidding, of course. And I wish him and his family all the best. Good. Good, good. Uh, 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 but when somebody says, hey, like, you do all the work and I'll present this to the master, like... Oh, if everything goes right, yes, Kirk can go on Newsmax like for three minutes. <laughs> I mean, right. get the fuck out of my life, man. You know how much better I am than you? I mean, give me a fucking break. I'm all set. Fuck you. But what I, what I, my favorite part of it is, like, let's pretend for a moment you're excited to go on Newsmax. You really want to. And you're like, yeah, Dave, give him all the proper information and everything. And then this guy could now still come back to you and be like, actually, they don't want you. <laughs> they don't want you anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a way to pitch guests. I feel bad for Bradley Stein. Clearly is a allergy to bees and got stung the guy's i hate to sound like john dennis but the guy is enormous fat low the shit oh, no. but that's his own issues i mean i don't know what to say but i mean like you know obviously too lazy to do any leg work and by the way like i'm not making I'm fucking I'm, I'm, you know there are other people you can have on about anna walsh like it doesn't like oh, you know yeah. it doesn't matter i mean then we got other people we got local news people reaching out then backing you know withdrawing their invitations to go on it's unbelievable i'm a fucking pariah i don't even understand it yeah I understand it. These idiots, this executive producer, and Dave's like, I can't believe you said that to this person. Well, why? <laughs> no, I said it was funny. Oh, like, well, if some, huh? somebody, somebody reached out and they're like, actually, you know what? Uh, my executive producer, this is Channel 7? Yeah, I believe Yeah, so, like, actually, yeah. they don't want to have you on. But some reporter reached out. I don't even know her name. Some idiot. And then she's like, uh, actually, you know what? My executive producer doesn't want to have you on. I'm like, okay. And I'm, sorry. I'm like, I want to blast your stupid executive producer because he's another loser. <laughs> Like then, don't have don't don't ask in the first place. Like don't it. ask in the first place. I hope every uh, news outlet on the planet lays this dollar in front of you and then pulls it away on a string. <laughs> I'm kidding. You want to come on? Oh, what's, what's the seven thing? News? Yeah, I don't even care. <laughs> Juliana Maza. Yeah, fine, sure, wonderful, great, good talent. Seeing you'll go to San Antonio and then you know fucking a Seattle and you'll stink all and then you'll be like oh whatever, fine. Do we know where Craig was the night of the Walsh thing? No, I guess I don't know. Yeah, no. So I'm just saying, ask him about that. oh, I get so worked up at stuff like this. It gets me so worked up when, when it's like, don't ask it. I don't, I, I'm telling you when I say I don't care, but don't say, hey, you want to come on? I say yes to Steve. Uh, sure, no problem. Like, and then they're like, well, or this one too, Channel 7. I'm like, hey, this message is this, uh, whatever her name is, complete, uh, like you're the greatest ever. Am I wrong, Dave, this message, the first one? From her? Yeah. Uh, like the case yeah, is like great. you're doing great work. Yeah, would, yeah yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing great work. Yeah, my job is not to stand in front of a like a, you know, when the Patriots are when, when there's a Super Bowl like three thousand miles away. My job is not to stand in front of the Gillette at four in the morning and tell you there's a football game that night. Whatever these <laughs> yeah. stupid news people do, she's right about that. But then it's like, uh, you know what, my executive producer, you know, I, I don't know, is a toxicity, whatever the fuck. And you're like, all right, all right then leave me alone. They yeah. just leave me alone. Let me do this dumb show and leave me alone. I'm perfectly content doing this and doing the case and playing mini golf. <laughs> and just le and getting my albums, just leave me the fuck alone. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. No, I don't think that's too much to ask at all. Do you have any interesting talents maybe you could display? Do you dance or juggle? I'd be happy to do it. I mean, but, but sure, if they guarantee me to go on, I'll do it. <laughs> right. But I'm not going to get, you know, yeah, I could do the thing with the quarters on my arm. Oh, I'm great at that. What's that? You, you, like you, you balance a bunch on your arm, then boom, you catch them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if we have any quarters here, Dave. You have a bunch of them. I can do it for you right now. Mm. Point being... I don't, but I don't want somebody at Channel Five to be like, "Hey, you're great at that. Why don't you come on?" And be like, "Oh, you know gotcha. what? Yeah, that hurts my feelings." 
hurts my feelings. Idiot. You thought yeah, WWE hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> So do you think Jerry? A whopping three quarters, great. Well, I can do that. That's fine. Yeah, Newsmax isn't gonna have a big deal. Jerry did nine quarters. There's gold advertisers pay this much for a read. Take off my beautiful uh, fancy shirt here, Dave. Let me see if I can. No, I'm sorry. I haven't done a while. I'm a little no, it's the flex. What's that? The the purposeful flex that you just did there as you're working. I put my arm back yeah. to do it. Oh, Trust oh, me. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I get a big muscle. Let me tell you. I'm, just, I'm sitting. I'm not great at it sitting. But... I mean, just, you know, wow. that, that's a quick Holy three right shit. there. But wow. I mean, just lay them out. I mean, you know. Impressive. I'll never know. Vincent Owen champion, fifth grade. Doesn't matter. I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> but again, like, I, I would put that on the text back to one of these news people, but they'd be like, oh, that's really impressive, Kirk. <laughs> You're really great. Why Very you, good. Why don't you come on the quarter to never, you fucking loser? <laughs> like, I, 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 I can't, you know. I have stories to tell. Yeah. I, I, I won't even say it was, but somebody who's worked with Mike before, he's fat. He, and, he, and he sells knives. Uh, grab my penis at the Wilbur show in the bathroom. But Mark, I, I'm not ready to tell that story yet. Can't. Still sells knives? Huh? Still sells knives? How I'm trying to narrow down. do I I'm know. trying to narrow it down. It could be anybody. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He's stupid. How's that? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how Craig cut the shrapnel for all this. Oh, I know why. He's a Newsmax guy. <laughs> no, 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 that's why. He's a Newsmax guy. Yeah. yeah. And he broke into Clemmer's house and they were sleeping and freaking watched them sleep. Yeah, but that and was on the my, camera when they go to the bathroom. I got to take the blame feels, for that. <laughs> that. These were on my orders. I don't know. Clemmer told us off the air, Dave. Is that true or false? The bathroom camera. I don't seek activity in bathrooms. Well, there you go. <laughs> Who's that from? That was Larry <laughs> Craig. <laughs> that's going to be an old Steve. That's a Steve one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I, I, maybe I'm overreacting a little bit, but I mean, did no, you have the same asshole. reaction that's, I did from the Newsmax? That is a worse, this is just my opinion only. You guys can be the judge. That's a worse producer producer action than what I did to Alan Dershowitz by a mile. I agree with that. By a mile. And you know what, Dave? You were right about Dershowitz. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Newsmax guy. You and I were right, and uh, Sutherland was wrong. Thank you. No problem. I needed it's that. Big. We were aligned on that one. Yep. Totally. I think it's great you made up a false email and didn't make up an email. Tried to, you know, didn't happen. blackmail the most litigious person didn't, in America. Didn't blackmail him whatsoever. No problem at all. No, no issue with that. Look, it's we're, we've moved on from that. No, no. Nope. Yes. It's fine. Don't even worry about that. Thank you. But this is, what he, this is how Newsmax, what's the name of the show? Nation Now? Uh, yeah, what was that text? America Nation f- or something? I mean, the fuck that means, but America Nation? Let's see. That can't be the name. Uh, no, National Report. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and what he's been able to uncover through sources, I'll present it all to the team and try and get an answer on whether we want him tomorrow. <laughs> In three to six weeks, you'll hear back. I'll try and get an answer. <laughs> they book like 150 <laughs> guests a day on that stupid Yeah, station. great. Uh, yeah. No problem. But I mean, they have Jerry on? Yeah. What the fuck does he know? Well, Jerry's now a contributor. That's you, true. It's a you good would be a guest. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that now inviting you on like fake shows. They're like, hey, you want to come on America Now? And you're like, sure. sure. Like, <laughs> we got him again. You just put me on the fake show, not even air it. <laughs> we got him again, guys. <sighs> oh, my God. I mean, I, I was actually, yeah, I was more upset, more worked up about that one than the stupid person from Channel 7. But that's yeah. fine. Yeah. I actually saw we had another, I didn't even see that email until it was too late. The one from Channel 4, whatever it was. I didn't see an email. They want somebody on. on Channel 10, whatever that is now, by 2 o'clock yesterday. They wanted to have... But this also felt to me, Mike, like a setup. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Let me read you the email mm-hmm. and see if... Uh, let me see if you... Uh, we got an interesting email late last night. Did you see that one? I did, Dave. Shut up for a minute. Right. Please, Jesus Christ. Uh, yesterday. I came across your podcast as a channel... NBC 10 reporter, Bianca Beltran. I came across your podcast in my research for a story I'm working on about civilian crime investigators, and I see you are looking into the Anna Walsh case. You're available for an interview today to talk about the crime and what motivates you to look in these types of cases. My deadline is 2 p.m. Thank you, Bianca Beltran. Well, that seems like a fine email. No, it does not. Hold on. Take it easy. You can have the Dave Colony show if you want. Um, that, to me, looks like setup 101 right there. Like, oh, here's the dumb, like, you know, people out there, the fans doing their true yeah. crime. I'm You're a part reporter. Of watch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like Bianca Beltran. I mean, you are, a, you know, a drop next to the ocean of Kirk Minahan. Like, shut up. It should all be about how great I am. I fucking solved a murder. Instead, it's going to be like, you know, Bianca Beltran, who I'm sure has never done anything in her career, is going to sit there and, and castigate Kirk Minahan? Like, what are we fucking doing? You're a giant. Like, there's not, I, like, I don't even understand. It's a panel of you and one of their elderly neighbors that saw something once. Yeah, exactly. I don't even like, <laughs> uh, is that your take on that, Dave, or no? Civilian 
crime investigators, yeah, and Kirk yeah. Minahan is included in that category. Thank you. All right. Well, okay. Fuck you. That's better. Right. You and the other kids in the neighborhood yeah. got together and you investigated mysteries. Who is Bianca Beltran? I hate to sound like Michael K, but Bianca Beltran? What are we fucking doing here? Never heard of her. Well, nobody's ever heard of her. Nobody. I mean, NBC 10 is like literally a disaster. Of a disaster. Station. Just an absolute disaster. Disaster. While I'm at it, uh, before I get to other stuff that ties into this, I suppose, we still live in a world where Megan Adelini and Chris Arcade are doing a drive time afternoon show together. That's pretty good. They might have you on. I mean, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. The biggest, the worst show ever ever in my life. Ah, anyway. So that ties into their uh, the show they go against, Mike. Felger and Maz, we speculated. Yes. Uh, and I said, if Maz wasn't in Monday, it might be an interesting story. And Maz was in Monday and, and talked about a health issue he's having. And I feel very badly about that. Yes. I do like Tony. I've always, a few times I've met him, I've got along with him very nice. Everyone likes him. And that seems true, right? By all accounts? What? Well, I remember like uh, Jerry was held out and they used some health excuse for a long time. Well, Jerry had cancer. That, but I remember that became like the excuse for why he wasn't there. No, no, yeah, no, no. I think Maz is, I mean, Maz, I think is sick. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I mean, he, he, you know, he sounded pretty emotional. Yeah, typical, he didn't sound 100%. Typical right. Felgram Maz, they blow through the, the real like stuff I care about in like 30 seconds and get back to <laughs> fucking Mac Jones the clips. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, all right, well, hey, it works for them. Uh, but I really, I, I do like Tony. Yeah. Uh, and I hope he's better. Um, so yesterday, we're, we're working on the case. And I get a, a text pops up at 940. I sent the text to Dave. Dave was all freaked out. He thought it was like, a, like a, another death threat or something. It's from Tony Maserati. Oh, okay. What? Uh, last time he texted me was March 2nd. Um, he texted me yesterday at 940 a.m. and said, Hi, Linda. Still hope we get to meet at some point. Appreciate the opportunity last year. Best to your family in 2023. Congratulations with your successes at the Globe. Sincerely, Tony Maserati. Remember, Mike. Last March, I pretended I was Linda Pizzuti I, yes. and <laughs> walked Tony into saying things on his show. <laughs> I had figured in the 10 months in between that he had figured out it was me since I had said it 50 times. The guy he works with listens to the show every day. He's a huge fan. <laughs> this is the craziest text I ever got. Tony is not doing the Red Sox games. He sent Linda Pizzuti that text yesterday. <laughs> He thought I was Linda. He still thinks I'm Linda Pizzuti. Yeah. The way my twisted head works, I started to wonder: Is this some sort of setup? You like, are catfished. they getting ready to blow me up? No, no, catfished. Very astute. So, I can't. It, it was a real test for me because Tony's going through stuff physically, so I'm like, I can't do anything with this. Right. Ah, that's so I didn't. I, I know that's the worst part of it. So I left it alone. But I thought that was in like. Like, he still thinks this is Linda Pizzuti? It's great that now Tony's like that bitch never texted me back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going through something here. <laughs> It's, it's very, I'm a, I'm a, I, you know, I couldn't do anything with it. I wanted to be. That's a shame. I know. Even to tell him about, okay, it's Kirk Minahan, I'd feel like an asshole. <laughs> so I wasn't sure what to do. <laughs> hey, it's Kirk. I was just really fucking yeah. with you. How dumb are you? <laughs> Jesus, but. This so. is a harmless joke. I don't think it really matters that much. I don't either. Yeah. It's just yeah. funny that he did that. Like, yeah. you know, he never reached out to Linda during the season or anything. I don't know. No, never needed to. I guess not. He had the job. So he's not doing Red Sox games, I guess, next no, year. He so is not. That's the point shame. of that. So that is a shame. Yeah. What else is going on? Yeah, the Boston on? sports media didn't make their displeasure known at all in that fact. Did you oh, see they all bitching it? Every right? single one of them tweeting about how great Tony Maz is. We're going to miss Yes, and is so yeah. scared of having somebody with an original thought and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But wasn't he like a total like puddle on Nesson, though? He wasn't the same guy as in the radio, right? Definitely. Not I don't know, but I didn't hear a lot of stories about him. Right. I mean, I didn't think it was particular. I mean, I don't know. They, whoever they have is going to stink, I'm sure. Who's doing yeah. the games? Uh, so I saw somewhere that maybe Lou is doing some. Okay, Lou would be fine. Middlebrooks. Bore. And Middlebrooks, I think they're high biggest, on. Biggest bore of all time. I think they're high Didn't they have Euclid? Oh, I did have Euclid. Almighty, oh, Jesus Christ. Back. Eck is gone, obviously. Eck is gone, yeah. yeah. Tim Wakefield? Wake might oh, be. Great personality of all time. Dynamite. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, this is like, I don't know. Nice guy and everything. but Well, they don't care. Who cares, anyway? They what probably else? just want to get rid of a body so Middlebrooks can do more. Probably. Yes. I guess. I don't know. He seems boring. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He's a sensitive little bitch. I know that. Yeah. Um... Well, he blocked me once because, you know, whatever. Oh. Um, that's fine. Um, I'm sure he's a wonderful guy. Huge talent. What else is going on? Uh, you didn't predict the Saudis the other night to buy WWE. I obviously. should have, too. That was a mistake because they've, <laughs> really? they've been in bed with these guys. They've been doing that um, Crown Jewel pay-per-view where they're getting like $100 million uh, a shot for the last couple of years. Right. Uh, so, I mean, I saw the guy who reported that has taken down the tweet. Yeah. So I don't think it's official at all yet. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's definitely very viable. Why? Why? Great, like intrigue going on right now. If you're a fan of the business of wrestling, where yep. Vince is now the chairman of the board again, took full control in the end of December, Mike. He was 
unanimously voted against being on the board. Yeah. Last night, unanimously elected chairman of the board. His daughter quits. Stephanie is out in real life, out. Right. So now Vince is just taking over and is going to, I think, take the company private because if he does that, all this SE stuff, SEC investigation going against him right now is gone. He don't have to, doesn't have to worry about that. And he would just sell it to the Saudis. And I've seen people today, I was, listening, I was actually listening to a podcast, a business podcast about this morning driving in. And they were like, what about NBC? And what about Fox with the Saudis? And I think they always forget the Saudis don't care. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, we won't be on TV. We don't yeah. care. We're just buying it for us and we'll figure it out. Like, they'll just be on whatever. You it's know? like an episode mm -hmm. of Succession. I, just don't think, I, I don't think that if that were the case, just nothing would change. They'd just do the deals with the Saudis. Who would? NBC and all that stuff. I wonder if they'd be worried about the, pr the backlash to that. That's no, all. That I mean, because it's been going on. Like he's, they've already WWE was already in business with this. People Saudis. forget too. Like if they have to do it, then there will be outrage for a while, and then people forget probably. You but know? does Fox really have to do it? I mean, not really. No, I mean, well, I don't know how beneficial it is. To them, yeah, I mean, no, they'll, probably, they'll, that's probably what not. I mean. Like, I, yeah, you might be right. By the way, and like there are companies like you know Mattel has a deal with them for toy. I, I just don't, I don't know how deep it goes. Yeah, I don't know if the outrage. I think there's a little bit of outrage fatigue now with that. So I think they'll get away with it. I do think you're right. I think they'll get away with it. It yeah. depends. They, you like to make you have to have that central issue. I feel like, and Vince McMahon is a central issue with how he obviously treated women and all the things he goes with that. That could blow it all up. But if it's a pro yeah, sure. But if it's a private company, he sells the Saudis. That's not me. Maybe this, they'll just be like, we'll just do it our way, and we'll have we'll, we'll get our own streaming service and we'll just do everything on that yeah it's a very wrestling storyline it really is it's wild <laughs> and it just come barges back into the board yeah that's exactly what happened and his her husband in real life is still running the company from like a creative sense As right for now right yeah i yeah, saw everyone i don't know enough about I it but i saw everyone saying he's out i assume he'll be out right yeah, yeah. crazy yeah. a great story i mean it's a pretty juicy story i, yeah. I don't know uh how that's gonna wind up but yeah i should have i guess I, I thought of it I actually thought of it after, and I saw it. I was like, oh, shit, I should have listed the Saudis. So, yeah, they're definitely... I feel like the Saudis are an attractive part of a other, uh, like a different potential buyer, right? Like, so if you're if you're Fox, you love the fact that it's like $100 million a year guaranteed from the Saudis. Sure. And nobody's really bitching about it in the world. Like, right. That's a great that's a great little point. You know you're going to get your money. Yeah. I, I, I know it sounds dumb, but, like, will the Saudis ever run out of money? Like, is it, they just, it just seems like they just spend money endlessly. Unless we stop using oil, right? I guess, but boy, I know you're right. But I'm like, man, it's just an, like they're just happy. That they're gonna pay this thing six or seven billion for this. Yeah, they can make. Uh, oh, I think they'll pay more. Maybe. Yeah, you might have to, to if you're Vince and make a deal with them. Yeah, I don't even know. As I was saying, like, billion. it's crazy. I guess that's just how competitive like a businessman he is and everything. But it's like he won't touch nine billion nine hundred million. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's never gonna touch enough. any of that. Who Vince? Yeah, if he gets ten billion dollars, right. He's not going to use most of that, you know? No, I know. But I'm, well, what's he supposed to do, sell for less? No, I'm just saying it's crazy to make that, like, rather than take whatever the stock is or whatever. Yeah. To be to need that, like, to be that competitive about it. I know. And he's almost 80 years old, I think, That's what I'm right? saying, yeah. yeah. Fucking crazy. And it probably doesn't impact Stephanie McMahon, right? Because her compensation is probably tied to the stock. I, oh, so yeah. So she's yeah, leaving, yeah. and it's just kind of like a... It's more of a... Statement. Correct. Yeah. yeah. What else? Yep. Uh, actually, just staying on random combat, I guess. But Jamel Hill had a column about how everybody's avoiding the Dana White story. She's not I wrong. Actually agreed with. That. I, I agree yeah. with Jamel a lot. Like yeah. sometimes she drives me nuts, but there are times where she makes good points, and this is a yeah. good point. Like I, you know, I'll give Robbie Fox credit. He's been writing about it every day. He's been standing at the top oh, of the right? wave. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> waving is you know. Yeah, but yeah, no, everyone's been oddly like. Has this show been canceled yet? I believe the show has been canceled. Okay. It seems like a good idea to cancel yeah. that yeah. show. Right? It was going to be a big hit anyway, but it's, yeah. it's, you know, it seems like a good idea. What did Jamel have to say? Well, she just, she wrote a column in the Atlantic and she did clearly just, she like she does. She makes it about race. If it was a black guy, she says that he would, it would be everywhere. Well, it, who? I, who? Like you have to give me a name. I don't know. Uh, like give me an example of did a, she use examples? Give me an example of like a black guy who slapped someone publicly and it was a big deal. I can't think of anything <laughs> where it was a big deal. Now obviously that's a way bigger yeah. if that was Tom it's Cruise. A, it, it also was Tom Cruise with a way bigger <laughs> yes, story. Right. The other thing with Dana White is look, like A he slapped her and she like to to I'm, I'll make the I'll make the disclaimer before Mike does. The wife hit him first. We all know that, Mike. We that does that. make a difference, though, in the uh, in the video. Uh huh. I'm saying it would be a bigger story if she didn't. If he well, just well, yeah, him, sure. If he just walked him and slapped but her. But you forget. <laughs> but you forget. He also dragged her to the ground after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Right. I mean, am I wrong, Dave? I've seen the video. Uh, it, it was a little fuzzy. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Okay, it looked like yeah. that to me. But yeah. she's she's not wrong. I, like I don't know. I don't. I just don't know who the person. You need, you need to give me a comparison. Yeah. So if it was a black guy running, 
MMA or whatever. Is that what Dana White runs? That yeah. what's called? Yeah, I pay UFC. no attention. I hate, yeah. I hate this. Yeah. It's, I fucking hate it. So if, if a black guy is running that, it would be a bigger story in her mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure I'm buying that. Yeah. I just think people think he's a meathead idiot and they think the whole thing is stupid. Like Dana White, I think is a total piece of shit. So like, I, I, you know, I don't think people think he's like a meat. I do. Idiot. Oh, I do. I mean, I think he is. I mean, he's enabled. This is more that the UFC is in business with everybody. And the company that owns the UFC is in business with oh, it. Yes. It's Hollywood. Well, right? ESPN too. They, doesn't ESPN like always promote the shit out of these things? Yeah, they basically. They have some of the fights, right? Yeah, on yeah. ESPN Plus. Yeah, that's part of it. So Stephen A. Smith barely addressed it. He's friends with Dana White. So she made good. Rogan talked him. about it a lot? Probably I don't know. not, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to guess no. Yeah. Uh, he would talk about that though. Yeah. He would probably defend Dana White, but he wouldn't right. talk about it. It's a tough defense. Yeah. An ESPN guy tweeted, uh, we've been told to not write anything incendiary on social media about Dana White's situation, and I understand why and have abided by that. I just ask you all to understand that some of us at ESPN do not have a soft a soft take on domestic violence. That's pretty brave. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Um, what, what did you say anything specific or... No, she just made the general point. Then mostly she was calling out ESPN as a as a network for avoiding that because they're in business with them. It's pretty Which is true. Honest. I mean, right? Does anybody yeah. doubt that? I mean, they're yeah. saying it. I mean, that doesn't really surprise me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I mean. Well, yeah, like every athlete, you'd say they've made a much bigger deal. Ray Rice or whoever, they've made a much bigger deal of. Sure. Although, you I know? mean, look, the Dana White video is bad. The Ray Rice video is like catastrophic. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So there is context. Well, he literally knocks his wife out <laughs> right. and drags her in the elevator. That's like, my point. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. I, I, it seems like nothing's going to happen to Dana White, though, right? No. I think no. we're past it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird... We're in a weird time. I'm telling you, we're in a strange time where it's like... Um, uh, like, I think I was saying this the other day. Like, So this thing happened with Brad Pitt a few months ago. Remember the Angelina Jolie thing where the story came out that he like beat her up basically on a plane and like tortured the kids and stuff? Yes. Yeah. And everyone's like, how is he going to go on promotional tour for he produced She Said and was in Babylon? How's he going to do that? And it's like, well, he did it. Nobody cared. He's the Golden Globes last night. Everyone blew him. Like, it's yeah. the same old the Hollywood people who, you know, the podcast, they all, you know, who all sit there and weep and moan for all, when, when the push comes to shove, they kiss the star's asses. Like, nothing has really changed that much. We're now in a corrective, you know, I'm flipping around. Jeremy Pivens doing a commercial the other night. He got caught in that for a while. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. It's not about the actual, no one has passion for the actual argument. Like no one's that worked up about domestic violence where they're going to treat Dana White the same as everyone else. It's about how sensational it is. Right. And if you can get a bunch of clicks writing about Dana White, then they would do it. Yeah. But it seems like that no one thought they would. So Sure. Yeah. You I also mean, have to come out with like a 48 hour onslaught. Against I just want to person. say to Jamel yeah. Hill though, if that was Roger Goodell doing it, it would be a big story. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, that's my point. Yeah. Though. Right. But I'm saying he's a white guy though. So, I mean, it would be a big story. Yeah. It's not, it's that's not, why it's, I don't think it's, it's race. Because, it's it's not more because Dana White's. A white guy. No, you have to be a sensational. If it was right. Pete Davidson with whatever celebrities with at the time, that would be a huge sure. deal because people like talking about just no one gives a shit enough about Dana White to keep it. Right. Know, and if uh, I don't even know who, if Seth Meyers made that joke and Will Smith clocked him in the face, it would have been a big story. Yeah. It had nothing. Or if or if a, uh, a white comedian made a joke about whoever. Uh, Tom Cruise's wife, he's married to Cole Kimney, punch him in the face at the Oscars. It would be a big deal. So yeah. I, I think that's a that's a reach, but she's not wrong about the I mean, it has been completely buried. When Dave brought up to me, I was like, oh, yeah, right. I saw that for a day, and it's gone. I mean, I don't know. He also came out very quickly and spoke about it and called himself an asshole, basically. Yeah, but that doesn't usually matter. If it like if, if they're looking for the kill, they don't care about that. Yeah. I mean, that that's not. I don't think anybody's like, oh, but he, he apologized for it, so we'll let it go. It just ruins. That's why people get upset with Jamel Hill and everything is because she has to label everything with race, whereas if she analyzed it critically, she'd realize it's not right, but she's right. Right. Her overall take is right. She just has to insert race into it. Right. Yeah. I that's, did see that's that where this. Robbie Fox's story was really an embarrassment to Barstool, one of the lowest moments in the history of the company, and they've had plenty. Is the uh, is the when he was like, uh, you know, at the end of his thing, he was like, you know, I don't know why everyone's really piling on. I'm like, well, wait a minute, like, yeah. <laughs> He beat his wife up. Like, now we're not a lot. Like, you you tell me what to do. Like, enough you wanted me to quit the company. He was beat up by the public. Yeah, you were weeping enough. in the summer of 2020. Like, which which side? Like, what are we doing here? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I did see, by the way, that this story was then kind of repurposed into a story on OutKick. Yeah. And Bobby Burek was not the person who wrote that story. I bet he wasn't. So, yeah. that is. After asking Jamel on his podcast, begging her to come on. Another yes. loser. Yeah. <laughs> a fat piece of shit. Piece of shit is the theme of the show. That he's one of them. Uh, yeah. So what else is going on? I didn't see anything too funny or exciting coming out of the Golden Globes last night. One second, I'm watching my quarter thing here on live on, on YouTube. Somebody tweeted out. I assume it was you. No. Oh, uh, 
Oh, my God. Must be the Rex Good. Chapman of KMS. What do you mean? PJ Minahan grabs all the KMS clips. It's the Kirk Minahan show tweeted it out. Oh, good job, Harrison. Thank you. <laughs> well, the, you you know that PJ Minahan grabs that stuff. <laughs> he, does be better, he does a better job than we. I try to hire him. He does sure. a better job than we do he on does. it. He does. So he does. So what? So what? He's like the Rex Chapman of KMS. I heard you the first three times, Dave. I got That's you. That's what he does. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <sighs> you didn't see much from what? Uh, the Golden Globes last night. I'd like just nothing really stood out. You got the the monologue was just all about you know the Golden Globes and the race issue with them and stuff like. Yeah, that. I get that's Carmichael's thing, like sort of yeah. awkward and uncomfortable, and it was fine. Like it didn't do much for me. It was fine. I thought the uh, Miskovich thing was, was kind fine. of funny. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it Most was. People it was, wouldn't say that. Yeah, no. But to compare it to Ricky Gervais, felt like a stretch. Yeah, certainly. No, I didn't. Didn't. didn't just didn't feel like he's. You need a, a show like that. You kind of need a little bit. He's a low energy guy. Yeah. As a comedian. I must say he's not funny, but you need like energy. Gervais has that. Right. Um, you know, Eddie Murphy's joke about Will Smith, I thought was kind of funny. I thought it was okay, but the, I, it, with jokes like that, it makes me not like them when people are blowing like, oh, Eddie Murphy yeah, right. is everything. That's right. And then I click on it. And it's like, oh, that was fine. But it's <laughs> funny. Bad. All night, there's these people who are like, who is this person giving out the award? I don't even know who this person is. Then you see Eddie Murphy like, oh, that's a, like a big star. Oh, good. Like you, you, there's something about stars and he is one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even when he's been down and up and down and up. So, you know, I don't know. Yeah. There wasn't, I didn't think there's much. <laughs> I'm so worn out by like the, you know, these people coming up giving 30 minute speeches and talking about hard. Like, nobody thinks your life is hard. No one thinks you've gone through anything. Like I get, you know, you've had a tough career. Maybe you haven't been a star. And I, nobody feels bad for you at the fucking Golden Globes. Jennifer Coolidge. You didn't cry. No, no. Oh, I'm so worn out by her too. Like we get it. Like congratulations. You, you know, you, by the way, she's been working for like 25 years now. Yeah. First American Pie was in 99. She's in a lot of, I've seen her in a lot of stuff. Yeah. She's been working good for her. I'm, I'm, it's great. But I'm like, you know. This is not... She's also a girlfriend of Seinfeld in the episode, if I remember correctly. Is that right? I think that's right. Am I making that up? Let me look that up, Mike. Hmm. I could be wrong. You're probably right. She's not a piece of shit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, She's not She's not my Still not piece of shit. Exonerated her there. Great stand-up oh. act. Is that right? Coolidge? Yeah, sorry in stand-up. Yeah, sorry at the Wilbur. Wow. One episode, Coolidge played uh, Jody, a masseuse there, huh? who ends up falling into a short-lived relationship with the... Uh, oh. Yes. She's the, yeah, she's the, she's the uh, masseuse. Yes, that's her. Wow. I never would have picked that. There's a lot of, uh, well, she's like a redhead in college episode. ago, I think, or whatever. I don't know, whatever it's going on. What's that called? Phil, Phil her face is. Yes. Botox. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. she got a lot of that. Yeah. It looks like it to me, but anyway, yeah. look, it's a hard business. No one was too upset that you spoiled the season two. Uh, I'm spoiling everything from that one. Yeah. If I watch them, I'm telling you what happened. <laughs> yeah. So just, just get right. ready. <laughs> well, we should get, you gave a disclaimer. Be you said turn it off. If you I, fl- I was flipping around last night. The Golden Globes comes on. Literally, I put it on. It was I was watching something else, and and they give him the award away for best actor in a limited series television. And like the winner is Evan Peters for Dahmer. The crowd's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I get you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey. Like, it's just a weird world where they're celebrating his like, you know. <laughs> And the guy who won for Elvis came up and like he talks like Elvis now. It's very weird scene. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he really was. He was <laughs> it's just very strange. All you people are so fucked up. I, I don't even. It's like I was trying to explain that idiot the other night, um, Shattuck. Mm. I was like, I don't like feel like he's like he wants Corey Feldman dead. I'm like Corey Feldman <laughs> was a child strange. star. He was like spit out and like molested. He's like he's had a fucked up life. I feel bad for him. I don't. I don't know. I was so deeply unhappy after doing that sh- doing that show. <laughs> I was you like, hit it well. You had a nice show. I mean, I, well, I'm on. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm no. I, may, I, I actually mailed in the show the other night. I was just oh, really? annoyed. Yeah, I didn't put well, that's much how in talented it. you are. Yeah, I today I'm good. not. I'm a lot. But <laughs> during that show, I was like wh- the whole time, like I, uh, Tom. I like Tom and, and Alice, and I appreciate that they listen to the show. I'm like, why am I? Who else does this? Right. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, what, what the fuck am I? It doesn't help me at all. I'm trying. I have 50 other things going on. Like, what am I, why am I having this conversation with these people? Why? You're Can we talk bearing. about, by the way, kids liking music, how good kids' music is now? <laughs> I don't know. It's so random. It's so stupid. It's so <laughs> what does that dumb. mean? I don't even know. Kids' music. He thinks, like, Dua Lupa is better than what he grew up Which with. Which is great. I don't care. But, like, just out of nowhere. I didn't want to have the conversation. I didn't want any of the conversation. Don't ask me to go on again. Please, seriously, because I'll say yes. Because underneath it all, I am a pretty nice guy about stuff like that. But I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm confused. Does he think it's music for children? He thinks I guess he means for like teenagers, I yeah, suppose. He thinks I teenagers know. these days have it better than he had it, I would assume. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky bastards. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Did he say he wanted the girl who did the show with 
Alex Cooper dead? Yes, he wanted her dead. Sophia right. Franklin yeah. dead? <laughs> Why? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, she's an idiot. But I don't even know. I don't want because when you do this, then you get. And I feel like he and Colony like almost like text oh. each other. Like you know, we're definitely yeah. texting yesterday. But almost like talk about you know talk about my shows. You talk about your show. You want that is publicity and for not sure. accurate. I just have the patience. It is it. very lopsided. They, they stick to that. the. They stick to just the babes. Yeah. They were talking about Sophia Franklin. I'm sure. Just the coochie. <laughs> I don't doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Your cupcake could use a little extra frosting, am I right, Dave? I saw that. Yeah. Settle down, boys. Yeah. Jeez. Why don't you guys settle down over there? <laughs> she goes straight to she's my a friend. Hips. She's the friend I'm happy for. She's back in the ring where she belongs. She's going straight to the gym from the picture I saw. Oh, no. Oh, what? A Shattuck ass comment right oh, there. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> no, all I know is I said, one of the kind, I'm just kidding, of course. She's wonderful. But I saw one of the comments of the picture was true. I was like, is that a carpet in her bathroom? Somebody said. <laughs> she said it was outside. And I don't I don't mean to be the How guy would you that defends her. She re- re- replied to her. <laughs> oh. She's actually got a nice layout of her apartment. cupcake <laughs> notifications on. Sure. Okay, yeah. yeah. What did she say? She said it was a, like the room outside of her bathroom. You know, sometimes you have like the mirror outside mm-hmm. of the bathroom. Yes. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, I got, you, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I've never seen it personally. No, I'm no. sure it's lovely. It's yeah. a wonderful area of God's country there for sure. Yes. Um, and congratulations, by the way, to my friend, uh, Paul Swan, Mike. Yes. Oh, I saw this. Yes. Who was named West Virginia Broadcaster of the Year. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, sportscaster. Maybe? Sportscaster of the Year. And that yeah. is a deep category. You wonder what there. he did for that because I hear there's a lot of backstab. It's a cutthroat. I know he sort of submitted award, the episode you know? with me. Yeah. I would have to think. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a great episode. Uh, so congratulations to Paul. I yes. saw that. There's nothing. N- nobody blows each other more than when the sportscaster gives out those awards. And everyone else, on, all the, the other people on Twitter act like it's great. I don't know what it means, but there you go. Joe Castig is the Massachusetts Sportscaster of the Year. What year oh, he had sports. It's probably his 75th. Uh, award from them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's really? earned it. You think anybody there listened to one game? No, <laughs> they did. The worst uh, voice in broadcasting uh, history. I don't understand it. Sure, he's a nice guy, but yeah. anyway, yeah. what else? Uh, nice call to Brandon Walker the other night. If you'd like to hear it. Oh, sure. Thomas in Louisiana, are you picking TCU? Yeah, I am. But uh, you know, originally my my first question was going to be about that three three five the matchup. I just got some uh, big uh, news. Um, I don't know if you heard about the halftime show. Apparently, Ladanian Tomlinson is going to walk out and fuck Christian Arcand in the ass. <laughs> so, uh, Riff Ram Bazu, motherfucker, and... Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that guy sat on the phone for 26 minutes for well, that. Well, he is... Is he He's doing that on purpose? Francesca, I'm telling you. Is he doing that on purpose? I don't know. Good Lord. <laughs> Who was Ladanian Tomlinson going to fuck in the ass? Christian Arcand. I didn't hear the name. Did y'all hear the name? <laughs> Whatever it was, I'm sure it was really funny. Uh, no, it was Jesus. super funny. I'm <laughs> Who's that sure that we got, Who's that? Uh, uh, He's told not to laugh. TJ, I believe. Uh, yeah. I did that. I was gonna, you can fucking play along, you drip. <laughs> you laugh at Brandon and nobody else. I think that's the mandate. Jesus, on that, Jesus. that was Christ. great execution. That was very well done. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, big news. Big yeah. <laughs> news. Uh, that's a good call. Uh, what else? Why were you so? Uh, why'd you retweet that CBS guy? Like with the video with the PGA Tour and all that stuff. You retweeted that the other. You seemed into it. Two tweets you retweeted. What else? <laughs> it's a weird one to retweet. Three days ago. What else? That's weird though. Was uh, the Tony Mez text the most insane? Was that what yeah, so it was just of? wild. That he th- I, I just can't believe he wasn't told like, in the interim. <laughs> nobody, like, Jim Murray listens to the show, trust me, every minute he's watching now. Yeah. I don't even get like why, at some point we talked about it, like Tony must have, uh, he still thinks that's Linda Pizzuti. What's the next one? Just a picture of his dick? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get what he's, you know, I know he's, I know he's sick. I don't, but I, God, I wish he wasn't. Not because I want to be healthy or anything, just so I could right. fuck around with him. I like understand. This. Yeah. Huh. What else, David? Yeah. Uh, you asked me to go back to Bonjour the other day, which is just a travesty. Oh, I forgot yeah. about Bonjour. Just, yes. Just a travesty. That bad? I did a little Bonjour uh, roulette. I just stumbled upon one new episode or whatever. Is it on every day? That's how I like to it's watch It's on every day. Where do you find it? Uh, Amazon Prime TV. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. It's not an easy find. Okay, so it's not available in podcasting form. Uh, they don't, they don't no. put an episode up every day. No, no you it's need just to through pay, the Amazon maybe. platform. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, yeah. what do we got? Uh, this was the first thing I heard out of their mouths when I turned it on. Joining Bonjour Sports Talk this morning is a pro pickleball player with the DC pickleball team. Please welcome oh. to Bonjour Sports Talk, Shelby Bates. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning, Shelby. I can Thanks tell you for something. having me. You could probably get on this program. I couldn't. I don't tease me. <laughs> And you know what's interesting about, um, you know, pickleball is how uh, there are no pickles, like, in pickleball. (laughs) Like, what's going on there? Uh, I mean, am I I right, folks? I'm actually explaining to you if you'd like. You're very difficult to hit a pickle back before the racket, you fucking moron. Uh, What's next? Tomato ball? Where do we stop? (laughs) What are we doing? Who is that? 
<laughs> Which one was watching that? the World Cup? They're using onions uh, out there. That was their that was their plus one guest. Oh, yes. right. he's a comedian or something. Lo loosen things up. Uh, he definitely loosened things up. I don't I, recognize I, the voice. Yeah, I, I don't even remember. I think he was a big comedian. <laughs> Chris Williamson was his name. Chris oh. Williamson. Do you know check, him, Mike? I gotta check out his stuff. Is he a comedian, Dave? I'm saying like I know. I don't believe he's a comedian. No. Uh, what was what was uh, Shelby's answer to that? Use pickles for hydration. But uh, Jesus, what? <laughs> there really oh, are no pickleballs. Um, there are, really are no pickles in pickleball, but it uh, it makes her a name that everyone talks about, and so I, uh, tell you, I don't blame her for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, what are you yeah. going to say to that? that, that right idiot. I will say like that is a really bad answer, but she seemed very rattled. I think we all would. What the? Yeah. What are you going to say if you're not like like you would be like what the fuck are you talking about? But if you're not a personality <laughs> like that, you're like I'll try to give a good answer. I guess. <laughs> no, there are no pickles. <laughs> I, I like. Are we, are we past the point now with like pickleball, where like whether you like it or not or don't care? Are we past the point where we have somebody come on to explain what it is? Like, are we have we graduated from that yet in America? I think, I think no? they're just trying to kill some time over there. Like, how long is the show every day? Uh, an well, hour just wait until we get canceled. Day. Well, do what every show's doing. I mean, at least talk about football. People watch it. Just right. fucking preview every game. It's boring, but somebody will watch it. Yes. What else? Um, yeah. Uh, there's nothing like too great. Sad. I mean, they're just so boring. It's college radio. I don't even Merry know. Merry Christmas. Happy Festivus. Welcome to Bonjour Sports Talk. Good morning, sports fans. My name is Madeline Burke, alongside Ben Lyons and our Prime Plus One. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonos. It is ugly sweater day here at Oh, Miami. I like that. <laughs> I think Brendan Lyons heard your Christmas. Ben Lyons. Ben Lyons. Ben Lyons. What was my Christmas? Yes. I forget. I did have Christmas. Ben How do they not start with Bonjour. <laughs> Oh, is that you what know? I said? Oh, so he's yeah. doing it. He gets a shot like, at me. He's like, hey, hey, bitch, let me get, no. get out of the way. I got to get our bonjour in. I think it's always a, like in a weird way when you're a show like that that matters so little. Like, I bet you they'll be on for like two years. Nobody pays attention. Amazon's so big. I think they'll overhaul the entire thing. Like, I think they'll realize they need to, if they're going to do it the right way, they have to go big. Like, they why did they like do ESPN. it? Why, why are they doing this? They're building out some entire, like, sports app that's going to be TV programming. And maybe it's just that. their way of, like, testing it or just to see if it works. Right. I I don't yeah, know. But yeah. then bring in, I don't know, even know who. Yeah, you got to bring in, like, real players to do that. I guess. But I mean, the, you who? spent, like, how much How much did they spend to acquire rights for the NFL? Oh, well, billions, right? Yeah. And then to get Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreit, yeah. you know? That's what I mean. And to do this shit. Just <laughs> yeah. so, and as you can see, Chris we Williamson here, you know is owning. He yes, understood sir. the All assignment. Day, yeah, wait, wait, wait. We need to, we need oh, to yeah. let them oh, yeah. know. Yeah, we'll that. Show them the gifts. There's like exactly. presents at the wow. bottom. Presents. Wow. Yeah, take the white Sharp, shot, dude. Take well, the white so, shot. It's so Red. insane. Like, it's insane. Other than Dave playing this, they're doing that to nobody. Like nobody is watching <laughs> that. Well, I bet you, seriously, <laughs> right? Not maybe their parent. Like all, no, like twenty people are watching that. Well, that's the thing. Like when you I say when you talk about uh, like NBC Sports Boston or something, and say no one's watching it, there are probably old people that stumble oh, upon yeah. it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's on television, yeah. so people will scroll by it. Sure, you have to seek this out. Yeah, yes, I mean, yeah, that, yeah, no, yeah I don't even mean anything against them. It's just, yeah. you, people, you got to work to find that show. <laughs> yes. well, also, they're not promoting it at all. They know how bad it is. Like, even the individual talent is not tweeting about the show that they're really on. They're just embarrassed they're by just it, you think? Absolutely embarrassed by it. There's no resources being put into it. The you Madeline, the only three you think Madeline Burke is embarrassed it. by her work? I, I, if you, I, I, I don't agree with that. Uh -huh. Now for the oh, rehearsal dinner as yeah. well. Don't want to show the Look skin, but uh -oh, uh -oh. yeah. We got some presents for all of you. We are thriving here. Uh, there are some really strong sweaters around this office this morning, too. I gotta be honest, I didn't bring like a special sweater. This is actually just a sweater I own and I wear sometimes, and I guess everyone's like, cool, ugly sweater. I was like, she fucked up. He's <laughs> ripping. Look at this fucking thing. Let him go. Like two weeks ago. Is that Ben or is that Chris? <laughs> that was Ben. Yeah. yeah I, just fucking, I wear this sweater. I <laughs> Let Ben cook, baby. Like when he's going, he's going. That sweater riff is. Did, did you see the sweater name or no? I saw a little bit of the sweater. Look. I was like, it was, it, he's right. It was a wacky sweater. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Show. Just a horrible show. I want more pickleball talk. That's well, hey, listen. Why? I remember when it was cucumber ball. Jesus. Ugh. It wasn't a great rant by Mad Dog yesterday, but oh, that Georgia hear. quarterback who's like 25. It's like 40, right? The guy who right. won. Like, saw that, is, that is fucked up. Like, that's just, that sucks. He's 25. He should be in the fucking NFL. Dude, well, look, look you at, think he's going to make it? <laughs> look at that 90 quarterbacks playing that game. You get mattered. They won uh, 62 no. to 7. No, but it's weird to see like a 25-year-old win a collegiate. I think the kid from Florida State years ago was old. The guy, Chris Wanky, was that his name? Yeah, and who was the kid? Uh, the Browns drafted him. I can't remember. But he was also like 26 or something when they drafted him. Oh, you're right. Uh, I can't think of his name. I, forget. I, I do remember somebody like that. Well, let me yeah. hear what Mad Dog had to say. Brandon, I have a, not a little problem, 
I have a major problem with Stetson Bennett, 25 years of age, playing college football. I can see it for one year. Last year he won. Uh, you know, Burrow was 23, going on 24, and he won. But 25 years of age, playing quarterback for Georgia, he should have left after last year. I didn't know that he was that old. And I understand we have punters who are 50 from Australia punting. I have a problem with a 25-year-old playing against 19-year-old kids. I had a problem with Wenicky doing it for Florida State he Wenicky, when he won the Heisman. <laughs> I didn't vote for him for that reason. And I understand that Bennett's story is a hell of a story. We all know about the walk-on and told to leave and everything else. I, I understand that. But he's older than 10 NFL quarterbacks. He's older than Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts. He's the I same age this. as Lamar Jackson. Yes. He sounds a little old, Mad Dog. He's getting old. He's in his 60s. Yeah, he sounds he must like be he's almost 16 now. Losing a step. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this feels like a, I don't know. I mean, he's probably like not. Uh, is trendy like just the fact that he's doing ESPN for the first time means he's like relevant. Sure, I mean oh, I would sure. say he's this. Like, relevant. If you're Amazon, hire him and put him there on. There you go. Yeah, guys like that. Definitely. I show. I can't even do it like you. Even do. you, yeah, just simulcast like the fucking you know Dan Patrick show or something. Yeah. Anything would be better than. By the way, if I'm, I, just, I, I just did. A brief, I didn't give it. Didn't wasn't able to look because I was going to respond to this, but I believe that Rudy was like 28 when he made this play for Notre Dame. He doesn't care about that. I'm just saying. He cares yeah. about quarterbacks. Does that take it away from you, Dave? You, you know, mm, that, I'm a Rudy guy. I mean, you're sitting there saying how terrible is this Georgia quarterback is playing football. Yeah. 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 Uh, it takes oh. away a little bit now knowing that. I never knew that. Yeah, I think he was like 27 that. or 28. Yeah. Wow. I think. Shame. Yeah. Who's the wild man now? It gets me every fucking time. Yeah. Every time. Tears. In Rudy. In Rudy. Yep. Yeah. It's fake. It's all made up. What do you mean? Tears. He wasn't even it's a real bullshit. person. Well, he's a real guy, but it was. But they didn't walk in and hand in his jer their jerseys. Come on, Mike. The, the chant. The chant was sarcastic. Can you save it to Clemmer's podcast, please? I, quite, I mean, really. Like, yeah, when is that coming out, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Clemmer's. I thought oh. Brother Walker's busy taking these prank calls, but what do we got? Do we have any know. updates on this? I thought he said February, didn't he? Or oh, I think he said January, Mike. No, oh. I thought he said the New Year. I'm, I don't know if he gave specifics. <laughs> Probably fucking lying, though, right, Mike? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, that should be an early Clemmer Brandon Walker podcast. That's I imagine true. it will be. Yeah. I've never heard anybody talk about Rudy ever. It'll be good to hear it. Yes. Bull Durham and Hoosiers and Major League and all those films. Yeah, I think well, I had a pretty hip take on Rudy. Who you? Yeah, well, I've heard that before. I sure, know, yeah, I'm yes. kidding. Um, uh, Blindmike.net is where it's at. By the Thank way, you. Though. Please get there. That's right where you now. get those takes. What do we have? Uh, tomorrow, the tomorrow. free episode of Why You Laughing will be Larry David. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Larry David Appreciation Podcast. And the um, Patreon exclusive episode will be Bill Hicks. And we're also recording, which I think will be up on Sunday. Um, the bonus episode is uh, Howard Stern's Pelican Brief. Oh, there you go. Good. I'm looking forward to all of those. Yes. And who are these socials tomorrow night at 6? You should do an episode on one Letterman's favorite comedians, George Miller, at some point. Yes. Oh, that's a good. That's a good suggestion. I normal. Norm's too. favorite comedian. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'll jot that down. Yes, please. I would. I look forward to that very much. I'd be happy to join. Uh, I would not be happy to join. I understand. I got it. If you, if, you ask, if you ask me, go on. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll be angry. Uh, what else, Steve? Oh, can I, can I say real quick? This is a tire take, but I am so fucking sick of Prince Harry. I, I know everyone feels well, that sure, way. Go yeah, away. Yeah. Just quit your bitching and just go away. I mean, shut up. You live in like a fucking palace. Shut the fuck up. I'm interested. I put him in the category of what's his face, that producer. He's in my piece of shit list, Prince Harry. Bradley. Yeah, Bradley, what's his name? Uh, Stein. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I wish, yeah. I'll, I'll, Steve will text me about him later. <laughs> but I would just say, I, I've had, I, I, you know, like quit whining. Shut the fuck up. Your books are like 50, for some reason, 50 billion copies yesterday. Aren't you curious about the hardship of leaving the royal family? <laughs> I mean, it's, what is life like for them now? I mean, it's unbelievable. We've gone over this a million times. I mean, the guy's been brainwashed clearly, so I have some sympathy for him. But I mean, what a loser! What a whiny fucking baby! What they are the living on a Netflix and Spotify stipend. Yeah, <laughs> that they're burning through. And yeah, by the way, he still has like a royal. He kept all his royal titles because you know, of course, he will. He's just a fucking baby. What was the Afghanistan controversy yesterday? Something about like said so he had twenty five kills or something. Did I see that? Oh. He, he bragged about it in Good the past him. or something. Yeah, I saw that the. the Zero blog, 30 people. T I didn't listen to it yet. They talked about it, though, I guess. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, he's, he claims he killed 25 people in Afghanistan. Is that what he said? Good for him, getting his hands dirty. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see a confirmation of that. I mean, I know <laughs> our podcast, we can't challenge stuff like that. I don't want, to, no. I don't want Dave to lose his job. <laughs> but uh, hey, Steve can do it now. He's rogue. That's true. Yeah. I think the main wire's been quiet lately. Is that incorrect? 
eh, maybe a couple of weeks for the new year, get back up. Yeah. Get to, you know? He's too busy fake booking me for uh, news. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, watch this. I'll get him. He'll, he'll, oh, oh, he trusts me. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. But yeah, it's like, oh, I mean, it, I don't know, whatever. I mean, good for him in this book, I guess. But anyway, what else? Did you um, firm up your involvement with that dozen show at the Super Bowl week? Cause yeah. I saw, I saw that was tweeted out. You were not, well, your team was not on it. I'll tell you, I'm doing the second after I talk about Tommy John, which I'm wearing right now. Uh, and I wore him this morning. Cold morning out there, by the way, guys. When I was listening to my podcast, I was freezing my fammy off, as Mad Dog Russo would say, running in the... Uh, but I felt good with my Tommy John uh, underwear on. Dozens of comfort innovations. Uh, over 20 million pair sold. Thousands of five-star reviews. People love Tommy John. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Uh, 20% off your first order right now. 2-0 off your first order right now at tommyjohn.com slash K-I-R-K. 20% off right now at tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. Uh, see site for details. Get through the winter with your grab. You can also, by the way, grab new Tommy John loungewear and take cozy wherever you go to get through this lousy, stinking, endless winter. I don't know why anybody voluntarily lives on uh, in the Northeast of America. I don't understand why we're here. I don't know why we're not in like Florida right now or South Carolina. Why? What's the weather? What's the temperature right now, Dave? Look it up. In... Uh, I'll say Port St. Lucie. How's that? L-U-C-I-E. 63 degrees. 63 right degrees, Mike. Too What's the high today? The high today will be 75 degrees. I mean, how nice God. does that sound? Pure stuff. Tee it high and let it fly after the mm. show, you know? Yep. You know what I'm beautiful. saying? Have I a know. drink. Or after like, you know what I would do? I'll tell you in a second. But 20% of your first order at TommyJohn.com slash Kirk. TommyJohn.com slash K-I-R-K. See site for details. Our great partners at Tommy John. New loungewear. They're great underwear. Get moving right now. TommyJohn.com slash K-I-R-K. TommyJohn.com slash Kirk. After a hot day at the golf course, might get out early. You know, it's like 85, 90 degrees. You're sweating. You sit down for lunch. But I want the girls a nice hot plate of uh, fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> I think we all do. Okay. Well, you could have, if you want to go a little lighter, you could have a salad. And that's it. Those that's, are your options. Or steak tip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Are there any drinks available at this place, Dave? Do we know? We hope so, yes. Good. Yeah, fingers, didn't he fingers they, crossed. They, 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 they're Coke there, right? He, he confirmed that. Oh, he that's right. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Coke and soda. And the way Justin is with me, he seemed almost scared in saying it because he wasn't sure if I was going to react positively or oh, negatively. He, that, oddly, that's what he was. I thought he was yeah. going to be scared of like booking you entirely. Right. That's the one thing that was he one, seemed yeah. hesitant Because usually he's like, I don't know, whatever. But that one, he seemed terrified. <laughs> I don't know. But I know because he's a big Mountain Dew connoisseur. Yeah. So maybe he takes it's, that personally. Uh, it's, pe it's not Pepsi. It's not Coke. Okay. Um, so, oh yeah, for the dozen, so the mini golf tournament is on Wednesday. The dozen is Thursday, and I am hosting the pregame, halftime, and postgame with KB and Nick. Nice. That's an exciting combination. I like those guys. I'm in the booth with them, and I'll do whatever they want. We'll have a good time. Uh, and then, I guess it's some bar still radio at the at the bar, with I think? I think right. big, when Big Cat was on, he said... It's that like it's a uh, Dan, Kevin, and Dave, right? Yeah, and I you. Think, I, I think I'm doing some. Windy? I think I'm doing some of that. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll do some Kurt KMS stuff there, I guess, as well. So yeah. should be fun. I mean, you know, fun. I don't know. It'll be what it is. But uh, uh, you know, and like I said, I haven't seen Portland put up any money yet for this tournament. It's disappointing. Am I wrong? I never has any after this watch. I haven't seen a lot out of Portland lately. I don't feel like I saw some video he had about the water the other day or something. I don't know what was going on. What does mm -hmm. that mean? The water? Like he was like a, taking a like a video of like the ocean or something. Like, oh, Jacques Cousteau now or something. Interesting. Who knows? But yeah, I haven't either. He's been quiet. I, I, I don't know. I know he's outraged about the tailgating situation at the uh, game the other night. At the national championship game? Oh, I saw you had some tweet about that, right? Yeah. What was it? They weren't allowed to tailgate? He wanted everyone arrested that was involved, <laughs> I believe. Who were not tailgating or were tailgating? No, or? that was that was uh, at fault Prohibited. for there being no tailgating. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't see a snap of that game. It did not look great. What, uh, what else, Dave? I think flights are back uh, up and running, I believe. That's right. I saw oh, thank uh, God. Uh, uh, Buttigieg tweeted out that they're back back to business. So yeah. what happened? There's the computer thing? That's what they're saying. Yeah. Who knows? You think it was cyber attack? Yes. Certainly could have been. <clears throat> I guess. So all flights were grounded till at 9 a.m. or something? Till 9 a.m.? Yeah, and they were. So. Jesus. What, I mean, I feel like that wasn't even like. I think it's a bigger story than they were saying this morning. It's kind of a massive story. I think people were treating it it's like trending a trending everywhere. Yeah, but, yeah. Right. Yeah. It seems crazy. That I think it was about to hit that whole, like, what the fuck is upstage if, if they didn't start, you know. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. If it lasted all day, that'd yeah. be crazy. Yeah. 
I'd be a little nervous getting on that first flight after. I'm not oh, gonna lie definitely. to you. Like, yeah, I, think I don't I'd know be if I'll do set. it. Yeah, I think I, I'll just do it tomorrow. Yeah. I don't think I would do that. Yeah, but and know. I feel like they should. They probably lose a shit ton of money, but I feel like you should offer that. No, if you're not comfortable, I flying would think. On that. Yeah. yeah, so my guy Ryan Whitney was flying the high skies of Spirit Airlines yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, if you saw that or not, no. did not go well for him. <laughs> oh no, who would have guessed? But yeah, I mean, I remember I took I flew Spirit once. I've not heard good things with Chris Curtis. We flew the spring training together. We were in the first row. I had an aisle seat, so I was fine. But they give you nothing on that flight. And, like, people were losing their minds. People were, like, crying. I was Why? Like, I don't know. It's but only I mean, like a three-hour flight, isn't but, it? And they do treat you. They just, like, you are you are a piece of meat. Like, get on this fucking <laughs> But throw you in your seat, and then you're done. Like, oh, it is. Okay. So, I, yeah. So, I, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He's a wealthy guy. I don't know quite know what he's thinking at that point. Frugal. I That's guess. You keep your money. Must, Must have been the only option. Maybe you had to get there it's for Boston a to like time Orlando, or I think. Yeah. There's a million flights yeah, to right. Orlando, isn't there? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Uh, I have heard rumors that Whitney will be my, I'll be in the group with Whitney at the mini golf tournament. So. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, we shall see. It's a heavyweight, heavyweight grouping. I hope there's no trash talk among you boys. I wouldn't think so, no. I don't think that'll be Oh, happening. good. It's a gentleman's sport. Good. You might want to find out uh, are you going to use the spider again for the putter? We've been told coarse putters. Course putters this course time. Putters, yes. okay. How does that grab you? That's good. F- perfect. Oh, okay. Couldn't be happier. Right, they get in the 36 at least the day before. So uh, with Jeff D. Lowe, I think. I don't know. We shall see. Yeah. What else? Uh, nothing really going on. No? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You free, What'd you good? think of the reaction of yesterday's case? It was kind of mixed. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm in a beautiful, like, you know, years ago I used to care. I do what I want now. It's a wonderful place to be. I would recommend anybody... I would recommend anybody acquire a fortune and just do whatever they want. Yes. It's a good spot to be in. Sound advice. Yeah, get to move. That's good financial advice right there. Make yes. a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, I, you know. I'll I, pass I, that along. Is, what I do best is talk like this. So I'd rather talk like this. I, you know, I like the first season of case a lot. Like, But now I want to try something different. Like I said, the next season might be different. The season after that might be. But right now, I want to keep it conversational. I'm surprised there hasn't been more reaction in Abington, but. Podcasts are weird. Sometimes it's two days, you know? Sometimes it's a podcast are a strange thing. Yep. You should start being conversational on the case and narrate this podcast. I would do that. Maybe I'll script this podcast out. So <laughs> Dino used to do it. I could do that. Dave was looking very clearly. confused. You guys what Shattuck does? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even, yeah. I don't even understand what Shattuck does. I, I don't know. It angers me, though. But anyway. But I, the more I talk about it, the more they talk about it. I, mean, I don't want to give them any, you know. Uh, it just annoys me. Um, how's Friday looking, guest wise? Uh, we have a guest. We have Ooh. a guest for Friday. He bought a bunch of shirts. You know this, Mike, or no? Oh, no. You what? I didn't know. He bought a bunch of shirts. <laughs> it's always the saddest, Going back to saddest well. introduction to a guest. <laughs> All right. Do I know this person? Uh, no, I don't even really know this person. You uh, know they good. bought a bunch of shirts. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. do you know that? They, he was wearing them. They told you on Twitter? <laughs> told me, I believe I saw the receipts and everything. I trust the person. Yeah. Who, do you know this person? No. Wait, okay. What's the trust built up? I don't yeah. know. I'm a trustworthy guy. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, I don't know. I forget his name. Oh, good. <laughs> Shane. Shane something. Yeah. Who is he on Twitter? Uh, I think it's actually his name. Shane. Yeah. Wow. That's his handle? Yeah. He got in early. At Shane. They just at Shane? Yeah, let me check my email here. Not at Shane. That would be like a fucking founder of Twitter. That's what you said, Dave. I said that. Shane, I, I don't want to give his... L- well, yeah. His handle! Shane the meat cutter. Oh. Shane the meat cutter? So he's the guy who called us a, probably now a month ago. And he, I think he did pitch himself as well. A butcher? As, as Shane the meat cutter. I don't recall that. Yeah. yeah I believe. <laughs> at Shane the meat cutter? Yep. Why am I not seeing that? Uh, well, I don't know if it's at me, Shane the meat cutter. Hold on. You just told me that. No, he is Shane. Like, he calls himself do Shane what, the do, do you understand I'm annoyed now, Mike, or no? I, like I, don't, re- I don't remember his Twitter handle. He calls himself Shane the Meat. Well, how'd you correspond with him? Uh, email. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. I don't know what to say. All right. Good. It should be a good show. I like the rant you went on this morning about not doing other people's shows, ending with, you have to come in here. <laughs> Anyone can come on in this studio. <laughs> well, I, but hey, look, if nobody wants to come in here, don't come in. That's my point. Like, was, you know, people want to come on the show because it's a great show. Right. Like, I don't want, you know, like, that's why the Shadows want to have me on because I'm great. This is the greatest podcast. Like, I, don't, I mean, as I've gotten older, I've said less and less. I'm the greatest ever at this, ever to do this. So, like, you know, I'm, if somebody wants to come in and do it, do it. Great. If they don't, don't. That's my point. Like, I should be that way with other things. I don't know why I'm doing this for other people or, you know, 
It's a fucking stupid Newsmax thing, but there you go. So a guy who cuts meat's going to be here Friday. Shane yes. the Meat Cutter. It's exciting. Uh, is he a local guy? Uh, that's a good question. I Thank think you. he's traveling a little bit. Okay, well, it's very yeah. nice of him. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. good, 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 good. Can't wait. So Shane, the meat cutter, will be here Friday to wrap up this week. Excellent. Yeah. Did he give you any like blustery? You advertised Julie as being like a, oh, yeah, a tough hey, guy. Yeah, hey, let me in there. Uh, nothing over the top where, I, you know, Julie was impressive. It was just confidence right out the gate. This was just. <laughs> uh-huh. this, You're unimpressed with this No, one. I'm not unimpressed. I like about Julie is it seems to me she has no social media platform, right? I, yeah, I don't believe so. I don't think, right, Mike? Or if she good. does. Like, she That's what I thought that guy once. Nolan was like until you said he was tweeting you the other day. Oh, God. Yeah. I thought he was like that as nice well. Nice guy, but Jesus, don't tweet at me. Yeah. My own problems. Yeah. He's an idiot. He tweeted me the same thing like four times in a row. He was like, look, Tom Brady and Jane Fonda look alike. I'm like, I've said that 70 times on the show. What do you want me to say? Maybe we'll see Brady for 80 at uh, Arizona. Jeff D. Lowe tweeted that to me. Maybe we'll do that. I think it'd be a fun outing. Although we said we'd do a live show for that, right? I don't think we're going to do that. We gotta do the stupid thing for. You got a lot to do. do. The stupid thing for the guy who died there. John Stewart. Right, right. Yeah. over it already. Yes. Well, it's been a week since I found out. <laughs> Jesus, gotta move on. Uh, do you think we should? Do you think we should split the charities, the hearing aids in the school? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why right. not? Yeah, that's good. Even though the hearing aid wasn't even in the obituary. It was just like a mention. I thought it was. Yeah, fuck that. No, 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 it was a mention, but it wasn't on the bottom, like, you know, giving how to donate to that charity. I like to combine the two so you can have, like, a kid, his hearing would be better when he hears himself getting molested by a priest in one of these schools. You know what I mean, that, Would that be beneficial? Well, oh, I don't know. For Legally? Yeah, sure. If you're, gonna, if you're going to... if you're gonna, Oh, to recap the event. Yes. I got you. No, yeah, but if they ever sue them. Right, I'm just right, trying to help right. people out. What was that, Dave? Nothing. You said, oh, geez, did you say that? Is that too offensive for you? Well, it's just a, a charitable endeavor on this school. Know, that dude, it's a joke. We're co- it's a comedy yeah. podcast here, dude. Clutch right You are right about that. Pussy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoa. God. Uh, I, uh, I'm a little rattled today. Why? Why is that? I got yelled at by my father for the first time in fucking 20 years yesterday. What happened? He's very upset with me because I changed their internet plan, basically, on them. Oh. Yeah, and so it fucked with his computer, his 15-year-old computer that should have been thrown away five years ago, probably. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? But That's the fucking, straw that broke the camel's back. He's Finally. pissed at me. So I made my mother's situation better. I improved their Wi-Fi. Took That's care nice. Of, I took care Was of Was the Wi-Fi a real situation? A major situation for Kathy. Okay, so slow. It. Very slow. Okay. What, what is she doing on the internet? What's what she's searching around? Amazon? She's or? dismembering she's, her husband? Yeah, she's Facebook. <laughs> she's probably a little Amazon shopping, stuff right. like that. Nothing crazy. Yeah. It's all just yeah. basic okay. stuff. Uh-huh. But she couldn't get the internet all over her house on her iPad and shit like that. So, so what she, did you do? You swooped in and did what? So we called Verizon. We changed the plan. Then they had to send a new router. We called they, Verizon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a team effort here because they had you and the Mom. oldest router humanly possible right. and all this. <laughs> Hi, shit. it's Dave and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Party God. line. <laughs> Go ahead. So what happened was the entire house became basically Wi-Fi only, a Wi-Fi only operation. Uh-huh. The computer was hardwired in originally. Mm-hmm. Ever since Try and make the story longer if you can. Yeah, ever since the Wi-Fi came in, <laughs> yep. the computer's been fucking up and not being able to access the internet as well. Go back to Inception. What, How did you choose yeah. Verizon? So Come either way, <laughs> Big Jack can't television. get on the fucking internet. And he Why took not? It out on because big, he doesn't know the... No, the computer is not handling it well. Oh. And it's old computer. I told so him to throw away the to fucking you? computer. What did he say to you? He told me it's my fault because it is I fault. changed the Wi-Fi. Well, that's true. Yeah, but I, she had a problem that she wanted me to fix. Uh-huh. So what did you say to him? That? So I told him, like, get with the fucking times, That's what you bag. said to him? Yes, I said. <laughs> dick bag, you called him? Dick bag. I didn't call him a dick bag. Listen your old timer. I said, yeah. get with the times. Like, hardwired in like that is borderline extinct for a dummy oh, like if I was, you. If I was Big Jack, I would have fucking... He was serious. I would have laid you out. Would he beat you up in the fight or no? Oh, he'd wreck me. Oh, he should have kicked your butt. Uh, right? If only. <laughs> Shut up. It's your dad. Shut up and let him know. Oh, I was like you. moderately respectful, but he's like ancient with moderately. that stuff that it's annoying. What do you want me to do? So how did it end? It ended with, I'm going to buy a fucking new computer, and if it doesn't work, it's your fucking fault. That's what he said to you with the F word and everything? Uh, Probably Goddamn not. fault, I think. Or wow. Like that. Who, yeah, were the got, kids there or no? They were in the other room. Jeez. Yeah. You wonder where their daughter gets it. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. It's a little volatile. Wow. Did you raise your voice? No, but I was snarky and sarcastic and, yeah. you know, the annoying, you know, he, I could totally see how he fucking hated me last night. Yeah. Did you reach out after or no? No, I don't know. You see him today though, right? Yeah. Like like nothing fine? ever happened. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. healthy. That's yeah. good. <laughs> good. Explains nothing that's at all. Good. Jeez. Well, there you go. Wow. That's the first time he's yelled at you in a long oh, time. A long time. I can't even remember the last time. Last time he yelled at me, I think was when I 
broke up with my high school girlfriend. He said like I was <laughs> ruining my entire life. She was the best piece of ass okay. I ever had. Well, I understand that. What was his relationship with her? I think it was just a timing thing because I was like with her for six years that he was like, why would you just fucking end it with somebody you've been with for six Boy, that is years? a strange interaction. He's old school. He's old school. You want you to marry her like then? Well, no. So I, I, she was, I dated her in high school, but then yeah. went all the way through college. Yeah. So he's thinking in his head, like, you've been with her for fucking six years. You're right. probably going to end up marrying her. What, like, you're a dummy for calling it off or something. Mm. What, what happened to her? Huh. I don't know. You never question. speak to her? Never? never no, 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 no. Gone. Move Jack, on. keep in touch with Move on. Yeah. <laughs> married? <laughs> Jack might. Yeah. Married or she's, yeah? I'm sure she's married. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Jack showing Dave pictures. Of, like, they're on a family yeah, vacation. Well. This could have been Three you. kids. I'm sure she's <laughs> doing well. Why not? Do they have her studio on Friday or no? No, definitely not. Okay. Yeah, definitely not. No. Yeah. Fucking Tim the Meat Cutter instead. <laughs> Shane. Shane the Meat Cutter. Don't disrespect right. Shane the Meat How much meat cutting I, I, I If anybody can do it, I guess I can, I suppose. Um, But yeah, all right. We'll take a few calls, I guess. If people want to talk. If they don't want to talk, that's okay, too. Life is too short. Technology with aging parents is a difficult. It's a difficult I wouldn't world. know, Dave. I wouldn't know. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> get to avoid that conversation. Lucky you. Yeah, because I can't call my dick dad a dick bag ever again, Mike. I know it's a shame. It is. Isn't we it? all hope to one day, but what a dick bag. <laughs> Only the lucky few get to. Poor guy. He's an old guy. He wants to go. What's what's Big Jack looking at in the uh... Facebook Craigslist? And Craigslist. Yeah, he's like buying motors on Craigslist and oh. stupid shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Is That's it. He's just piano or anything, no? No. He doesn't care about that. No. Nope. No. Nope. Boat stuff or nope. But then to go sit on the couch with his shirt off watching uh NCIS or something. Man's man. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Modern man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You should have ripped your head off. Isn't it great if you killed Dave? <laughs> just, if Dave came in with a black eye and he was What's afraid to tell us frustrating. <laughs> he just murdered him. He's like, fuck, I'm sick of this fucking idiot. <laughs> just kills him. Who's uh, frustrated? You or him? Both. I can see both. Who's sides. right and who's wrong, percentage wise? I'm probably right that he should have a computer that is only what Wi-Fi. Can, how old does a computer look? <clears throat> Fifteen years. Yeah, that's making old. weird noises and shit, and like anything could go wrong. Is with that Big Jack cheap? No, no. He's like, I don't give a fuck about the money. My thing is, it it uh, worked. Uh, here we go. My it worked until you now. did it. What was that? It worked until you changed the Wi-Fi. That's how he talks. How no, accurate no, is that impression? That's not a good impression. <laughs> okay. Not a good impression. <sighs> well, I feel bad. Be nice to your dad. No, I'm just going to buy him a new computer. Just let, let old people be old people. That's they they like to bitch about the, the cable. You know what I mean? Don't feel like you have to help. I mean, them. they watch my kids and I don't pay for it. The least I can do is buy them a computer. I think they didn't want it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do well, well, no, mom they wants can it. Use, but they oh, can okay. use the old computer if they don't like this new one. We live in a... But I think Dave, the issue is Dave like is always on his mom's side. Oh, oh, there you go. Not even a question. Yeah, and that's going to be yeah. annoying for Big Jack. Yeah, I think yeah, after yeah. a while. But he also, he's mama's boy. But he's fighting also, against, you know. He also called me last night to fix the problem and didn't want my mother to find out about it. Which is stupid because like, I'm going to show after up the with fight? my kids. No, he called me to come fix the problem for him. Oh. I know you're going to go squealing to your mother. Yeah. But. yeah, I don't know what he was thinking with that. Like when I show up the, with the two kids at the house and my mother answers the door, why? Yeah, makes well, I just sense. thought maybe he th maybe you just thought you were going to help him fix it. Like he didn't think it was a big shit. Yeah, but he was clearly drama. trying to hide it from my mother. <laughs> but she was there, right? Yeah, but she like she's upstairs. He's downstairs on the computer. I can hold it in no longer. <laughs> I don't know. I Father has betrayed you. I didn't get stupid? the thought process. I don't understand. I didn't stupid. get the thought process. I'm it didn't confused. Make sense. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me. I'm sure your family. I'm sure you guys articulate things very well to each other. <laughs> we can only imagine. <laughs> Why did? Oh, what time was this at? Uh, I think I got to the house at like five fifteen. Okay. Yeah. It was just the two of them there. Two of them there. Big Jack's trying to figure out the computer. Yep. You explained to him that you changed the... So he didn't even know you changed the... No, he he knew it. Yeah. And then he told me that the computer's been having issues since I did that, which has been about 30 days. Which... Is that accurate or no? According to him, it's accurate. Okay. Yeah. And it was definitely having issues, so... Hmm. Yeah. Cops get called to this melee? <laughs> no. It's a question. We handle, <laughs> we handle it ourselves. Jesus. We handle our business. Sure, I understand. House. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how much, how much is like a nice new computer. They don't need... Like, they literally just use the internet. Yeah. So my thing was like, go get them, even a refurbished one for like five hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Not go even. cheap, dude. That, yeah. That's a good sign right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't. Oh they don't do anything else. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. They load up. Load up. All right. Hello. Good morning, Kirk. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, could I ask Dave a case-related question, if I may? Dave calling in. Yeah, the colleague. Please sure. do. Dave, would you suck cock uh, for a shelter kitty? Would I nice. suck cock? So we'll let us know. Inappropriate. Let us, Come on. It's just they cut too soon. That's hurtful. Yeah. Damn. Would you? 
I'm not a cat person, so the answer for me is no. Mm, probably not. Yeah. yeah. The answer is no. Mike Woods. I'll reserve. I'll yeah. reserve. Comments. Yeah, that's smart. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All aboard. All aboard. That's right. Uh, that's what's his face used to say. Kirk, I was just wondering if you could tell me the best, uh, your favorite uh, Springsteen book, a book to read about Bruce Springsteen. <sighs> Well, the Peter Carlin one he wrote, I thought was pretty good, that biography, a few years ago. Probably 10, 11 years ago. Much better than Bruce's book. Um, I would go with that one. Yeah, for... I read his book. Okay. Hmm? Thank you very much. Okay. The new book, the Nebraska book, I can't wait for, the Warren Zanes book. We'll have him on. Book him, Dave. We're going to have him on when that comes out in Got May, it. I believe. Are there any good celebrity autobiographies? Yes, Stephen Van, like... Steven Van Zandt. Well, of course. Terrific. <clears throat> it was actually really good. Some, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. You know who wrote a great biography, autobiography? Andre Agassi, really? like legitimately great, like incredible. Hmm. Yeah, the best sports autobiography like I've ever read. I only ask because often I feel like uh, yeah, most of the time not particularly honest about themselves. No, 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 right. So when you get a rare one like that, it is good, hmm. good stuff. Hello, Big Jack can't get rid of that computer. He has all uh, pictures of Dave's ex girlfriend on there. <laughs> 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 you son of a bitch. That's all I had left. That's funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a theme with Mr. and Mrs. Cullinan. They they just simply don't like Dave's wife's family. They don't like her. And they don't like the, the mother-in-law. There is, uh, look, I don't, well, I don't want to dig into that, but there is something to be said. That, there is not. <laughs> okay. There is not. All I know is if I, Boy, broke up, if I broke up with a girl in high school, my dad would be like, what? The son, no. what? She no. was... Perfect. Why? <laughs> year after college. Year after college. He was already married at that point. He was already married at that point. Who, your dad? Yeah, they got married. Like, well, no. He was oh, I think maybe he was already married, married at the point. He's having <laughs> to argue with you. So a year I'm like, yeah, I hope so. Eight kids in? <laughs> What's a year after college? Like 22? 22, he got married yeah. like 23, 24? Different time, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, was his, that was his Mo mentality. Go ahead. Most fathers are like, hey, don't do what I did, kid. Go out there and get as many women as you can, but not Dave's father. No. No, Dave's no. Still, he's, he's old school. He's old school. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Classy Thanks for the guy. call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are they loaded up? <laughs> They're loaded up. That's funny. It's <laughs> a good observation. Hello. Hello? Is this the Kirk Minahan show? I believe it is. Um, this is Cindy from Grill on the Hill. Can uh -huh. I ask a couple questions? Sure, yeah. We, we, Cindy, will do the best we can to answer it. Um, so my daddy, I, I mean, J-Rock told me that if we throw a really good fundraiser for Jon Stewart, he's going to throw a kegger for me and all the rest of the girls in junior high. Oh, God, so junior high. Really, really <laughs> yeah. good fundraiser? That is, well, first of all, I would call it middle school. <laughs> and secondly, yeah, I mean, look, we're happy to help out. I don't know. I mean, that feels, I, I have to look at the Massachusetts laws. That feels like it'd be an illegal party. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I sure. Right. Well, I, mean, I love when Dad, I mean, J-Rock, I love when he picks us up in his dirty Honda yeah. and brings us around and tries to pimp us out in the streets of Worcester. <laughs> oh, God. It's a really I don't, 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 I mean, look, these are accusations. Uh, we take them very seriously. We'll certainly vet them and take a look at them. I don't, I don't think that's true, Dave, do you? I do not. Mike, reserve judgment again? No, no but he is Goodbye. practiced at approaching people on the street and getting them in his car. That is so. true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so I don't know. I will say he's had bad luck with prostitutes, though. So <laughs> I don't know. That's a good point. Yeah, you'd think that would have been easy. Yeah, yeah. Pimping oh. them out is different, though, I will say that, than, sure. than trying yeah. to acquire the services of one, as we learned. Yeah. And who worse to book a prostitute than someone who's trying to cover it up, you know? Good point. Hello. Kirk. It's yep. the current chairman of the board, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Oh, congratu well, congratulations, I suppose, are in order, uh, Vince. Bravo. Well done. I have a bone to pick with Dave Cullinane. All right, go ahead. I kind of sympathize with Jack Cullinane. As you can know and as you can see from the news, I am also disappointed in my children. That's true. <laughs> Dave is a huge disappointment to his father. Right. And you know what? I think that Dave's father, Big Jack, should look at Dave and say, Dave, kiss my ass or you're fine. Thank you, Vince. Good good promo. He still, he still sticks to the classics, that Vince. Yeah, why not? Yeah. He's worked for him for 50 years. Yeah. They load up, Dave? They are loaded up. All right, hello. Who's Andre Agassi banging these days? I believe he's still married to Stephanie Mrs. Graff, Agassi? Dave. Good for him. I think so. Good for him. Yeah. 
business. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. Hello. Good for him. These Good. Days. Chairman Mao, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, Chairman. I was wondering, what leader of states and heads of states and presidents and all that have you talked to over the years? Do you have an idea? Uh, hmm. I spoke to President Trump. We've spoken to Ronald Reagan. Uh, we've spoken to many presidents, my God. Eisenhower? Uh, yeah. Washington, Jefferson? Yeah, we've spoken to many. Um, Kim Jong-un, I believe, we've spoken to. Yes, that uh, sounds right. I believe uh, Putin we've spoken to. Um, hmm, John Amos? Yeah, uh, that's correct. Drunk Greg Hill? Many, many, uh, many. Now you as well, Chairman Mao. Thank you. That was it. Just a right. simple question. Yeah. Hey, Kirk. It's Mayor Pete. What's going on? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, uh, Mr. Buttigieg. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm having a really tough day. People are, like, freaking out, and I don't understand it. Well, I mean, if, if, if I may, uh, sir, I mean, there is... Kirk, I'm just trying to watch Toddlers and Tiaras, and everybody's freaking out. I don't think you watch I don't, uh, I, uh, I, I don't think this is mayor, former Mayor Booth. I, I can't believe that you're... Well, go ahead. What were you saying? I did, I'm watching a marathon of Toddlers and Tiaras. I'm trying to relax, and everybody just keeps Twittering me and emailing me and this texting feels me. And it's really annoying. I, I don't. Okay. I mean, yeah, I will say this. You know, I, 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 someone's going to say, I'm going to say it. You guys start acting like a man here while, while real things are going on in America. That's a good point. You know? How dare you? No, I'm not. How I, dare no, you? No, I, I could see how that could be a problematic statement. I just mean in general. I believe that you are. You know, you are a man. We're going to cancel you, Kirk. No, 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 no. You're I'm a veteran, for a veteran right, Dave? I supported yeah. you in the ele- if you remember, Mike. I said that he was the best nominee. Right? You did in the last election. So you found him, you he's know? a sissy like this. No, apparently. no, no. I think you know get- people like you are great. <laughs> Dave, your thoughts? <laughs> Not an ally. Love it. Yeah, we're allies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, you gotta stay. You character. really, yeah. you really like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 ridiculous, ridiculous. I like. I actually like Blue. I know they drive people like Jerry crazy. I, I think Blue Church is a smart guy. I don't know much about his uh, specific politics, other than ob- the obvious. Very smart guy. I, I don't, you know, I think he'd be a better president than Joe Biden. How's that? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> they load up, Dave? Load up. Hello. Yes, hello there, Seamus. How are you? Hello, Dad. How's it going? Hello, Blind Mike, and hello, Dick Bag. Hello, um, Mr. Minahan. Quick question here I'm uh, that for you, Kirk. Me. I guess it's probably not my dad. I'm, I'm a bit... I'm a big reader like yourself, and I was just reading one of my favorite authors and really one of my favorite books. It's Dr. Seuss and all the places you will go. Sure, remember Mike and it got me, book, yeah. yeah. And it, it, it got me thinking about something. I know how you like to travel across country, and I don't know why it popped into my head, but I was curious if you could rank for me. If you had to drive cross country with one Barstool employee, either Jersey Jerry, Stu Finer, Chris Clemmer, or Frank the Tank, who would it be? Boy. Clemmer all day. Yeah, well, I was gonna say not, that's, not even, you made it too easy for believe him. Believe me, sir. I would dread it anyways. I don't want to drive with anybody, but Clemmer in a route. If you take Clemmer out, I'll take Clemmer out. And make so it was Frank. Yeah, Stu, Jersey Jerry. Jerry and that, Stu. That's a good three oh, that you have. Clemmer Jerry. No, we take Clemmer out. Yeah. So okay, but yeah, replace so Jerry, Clemmer with Jerry. Clenny Balls. Jerry Stu Frank. Just yeah, Clenny Balls. I think is pretty quiet generally. I think. Oh okay. Uh, people have told me that Stu. When he turns it off, he's just like a pretty regular guy. I remember talking to Stu in front of the hotel. I remember talking to Stu in front of the hotel in West Virginia, and he was pretty like pretty normal, honestly. Okay. I've seen his tweets. That's why I question. Yeah, no, that's but. what I mean. So I'd probably I like Jerry though. Um, and who's the other one? Uh, Frank. I, I don't think I could do that. Um, yeah, you you need a U-Haul with Frank. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, you get fun questions like about the uh, best receiver in the league or whatever. True. He asked you, yeah, you know? he's very into TJ Watt. I'd probably go Jerry Stu Frank there, though. I would, I'd be okay, I think, with either Jerry. Hold or on, Stu. though. Jerry will be wearing his favorite cologne. I'm That's sure. true. I'm not a cologne guy. That's true. Yeah, I think Stu might wear some yeah. as well. And uh, Jerry's a good call. To shit himself. That's true. That's too. a good question. If you eliminate Clemmer, that's a good question. I go with Stu. I think. Mm. I think so. I like Stu. Yeah, you could talk radio with him a little bit. That's true. I guess. Yeah, yeah I love that. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hold on, Dave. Let's see how long this goes for. Hello. Hello. 
calling from the Arctic, sir? Hello? 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 Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hello? What the hell's going on? Look at my Twilight Zone episode. Is this Dave's father's computer Dave. calling? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the story, Mike, this morning? I saw T.J. Hubbard quote tweet that they're, they're building that the bridge in Madawaska is finally oh, being completed, I think, is what well, I saw, exciting. right? That's exciting. Yes. Too bad we'll never be back. Yeah, I never say never, Dave, say, never Dave, say never. Dave. Oh. Yes. Dave. Yes. He's on a roll, my friend. What'd you say? What's that? He's on a roll? He's on a roll. Okay. Why is that? And he seems to be right over and over and over again. Take a bow oh. right now. I'm taking a bow. What, what about? What's he been right about? Well, my mother in law died last night, and man, it is a great feeling. Oh my God, <laughs> he's so <laughs> fucking right about that. Did you I, say I, that? I don't think he I said that. I did not that. say this. I thought you were very against that. I can't not remember. something I would say. Coming up on the morning. Are they loaded up, Dave? They're loaded up. Hold on one moment. Uh, coming up on morning report, I'll take you to North to Matawaska to bring you the very, very latest on one of the biggest construction projects in the state. That's the, that's the bridge, Mike. Oh. So there you go. It's, it's ongoing. The T.J. Hubbard tweet I saw was exposing Cullen Ann for tweeting about himself from the uh, Boston Radio Watch account. Oh, so, we know that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very vital to the economies. Madawaska and Edmondson have grown up around the bridge. Madawaska town manager Gary Picard explained. So, yeah, there you go. Good report by Hannah somebody. Wonderful job. All right, hello. We'll, go, we'll be back. Who are we kidding? We'll be back there at some point. All right. They don't want us there. But we want to be there. <laughs> hello. Hey, Kirk, how you guys doing? Good, thank you. You got Brendan here from New York, uh, originally from Baltimore. I was wondering, did oh, you guys yeah. talk about the New Amsterdam commercial uh, at the Golden Globes last night? Uh, we did not. So the commercial came up, and at the end, it had a dramatic voiceover that said the final season. And I had only first heard about that show uh, last year when you talked about it. Shocked to find out it had five... Five whole seasons. Oh, is that this is the one with we're, the is it the one with the Roe versus Wade episode that we were making yes. fun of? Yes. Oh. Yeah, where they want to kill all the babies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's a great show. That's a great show. <laughs> I, I might have to watch it. Yeah. Is that episode yeah. been on yet, or is that? Oh, I guess it must have seasons. been. Yeah. Yeah. Five seasons, incredible. Yeah, I think that you was probably the season. You would have thought it was open. like uh, Seinfeld ending. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, is that the way they do the commercials? I gotta look up the his, the ratings for yeah, Amsterdam. Look it up. It's like the end of Friends. Like <laughs> they play the Green Day song. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's like, like Abba, or, if, I, if I left you in a room like alone points. for a thousand years, could you name me one character on New Amsterdam? No. Unless, unless I took a guess at a generic name. I was saying, unless somebody's called New Amsterdam on the show, it's probably not the case. Yeah, right. The weed guy looks familiar, but I can't place it. Doctor Helen Sharp, we have the ratings here somewhere. Let's see. Reception. What's crazy is like, you know, I mean, it's not a huge audience, but last year, three and a half million people watched that show. Yeah, but then you have to compare. If something was getting three and a half million, you know, oh, 30 like, years yeah, ago, yeah. it would be a, an abysmal oh, failure. Oh, no, it would be one episode. It would yeah. be gone. It would be the lowest rated show in the history of network television. But this is amazing that like uh, three and a half million people like in America are like, oh, it's New Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> that I do always think about, where it's like the person getting excited for that show. Is yeah, like, like I, I think of that. Some, my buddy Matt Quinn and I talk about that once in a while. Like, there's a guy right now in Des Moines at his cubicle, and everyone's talking, and he's like, if I can just get through the workday, yeah, get home, put the fucking kids to bed, I can watch New Amsterdam right. tonight. It's like, been a rough day, but at least New Amsterdam yeah, it's, is on. it's in the air. <laughs> yeah. like, there's that excitement, and you know what? That's great. I yeah. mean, you know. But I do feel bad for that guy in the sense that, like, who the fuck is he going to talk about that with? No one, you know? right? Yeah, there's the no, tables there's are turned. There's no one to talk <laughs> right. about it. Like, if he was there, if he was working there in 1985, everybody's talking about the the, the network show the next day at work or whatever. Right. You know, the Cosby Show or Seinfeld or Cheers or yeah, Dynasty. Who cares? Whatever. Now it's like people are talking about Dahmer. Right. This guy's like, I don't have Netflix. But even that, I mean, we've said this before, but like, there's a bunch of people that didn't watch Dahmer. You know what I mean? Like even the most popular sure, but thing the on numbers TV. are way yeah right. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. No, it's very rare where there's sort of this unifying thing. Yeah. Almost never. Like maybe the Super Bowl. That's about it. Yeah. Like the Golden Globes numbers are going to be so bad. A Tuesday night with no nothing. I had no. Buzz. I was saying to Colin, and then when I said it, I questioned myself. But uh, the Golden Globes happened last year, right? They just weren't televised. They were not televised they last year. The year the before awards. that was a Zoom year. 
Right. Know, yeah. But last year they gave out the award. Tweeted them out. Just, remember? Yeah, it was okay. Like, yeah, that's what. It was. Yeah, like oh, whoever I don't remember what last year was, but whoever won Best Actor, and yeah. Will Smith, and yeah, so yeah. They gave up on that protest pretty quick. They sure did, <laughs> as Hollywood always does. Hello. Hey, Kirk. This is Ray Santiago. I'm with the uh, marketing department at Tony's Fuck Down Emporium. Ray Santiago? Yes. You work where? I work at the marketing department at Tony's Fuck Down Emporium. You work for the mark? Oh, they have a marketing department there. Oh, well, of great. course. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I suppose yeah. you should. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't radio, but, you know, Michael K., that asshole, he made that call and he's a man of his word and I was looking for work. So now I'm at TSE. Dave, where are you going to rank it in your career moments? You have to clean this fuck doll in, in in front of 2,000 people in, in uh, March and Maine. It's going to be pretty fucking low. Yeah. How about having it? to fuck it first? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, who do you, who do you, who's coming? Who's gonna messing it up, yeah. No, we'll let we'll somebody from the audience do that. Do that that seems so. reasonable to me. Go ahead. Uh, well, anyway, I'm not including him in marketing, like I said. And, I know, uh, know, you know, and, we and, heard and, and, and Ray, I apologize. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Uh, no. I was, like I said, uh, I heard your co-host talk on the show the other day, uh, you know, about like getting a business with Barstool. And I just want to say we're interested. I would love to uh, give you an elevator pitch if you got 15 seconds. Well, I remember. Yeah, sure. I remember famously somebody else redefined the elevator pitch. If I remember, Justin once said it was, it goes <laughs> it up, its, and down, it has it's its ups and downs. Down. <laughs> was that with you, Dave? Or was that Steve Aaron? That was Steve, I think. It, it might have been just Justin. Oh, was it? It might have been Justin had the reins. Yeah. yeah it has its ups and downs. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Well, Kirk, let me tell you, this one's all up. So, this one's all up. Oh, gotcha, Ray. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's good. This guy's good. I like Ray. Go ahead, Ray. Look, we're going to make Rhea. We'll make Fran. We'll do Alex Bennett. Oh, we'll do boy. Casey Smith, pregnant and non-pregnant. Ooh. And we got some special deals just for the Minute fans. We'll do Alex Shaddock. We'll do an Albanian doll with extra large feet. Oh, boy. Okay. And I tell you, the minute we sign the deal... We're going to start mass producing Dave's mother in law dogs. I think every Minute fan's going to want one. That's going to be the hot item. So let me get sure, this right. Yeah. So, so you have, uh, just for the Minute fans out there, you have Fran and Rhea. Yes. Yeah. You have Casey uh-huh. pregnant and then not pregnant. Um, That'll be a big Or we'll sell it with a small doll inside the bigger doll. I and you can actually a, pull it out. That's a good idea, I think. That is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you have an Albanian <laughs> person with huge feet. Right. Alice Shattuck. Uh-huh. And then you have Dave's mother in law. Yes. Mass. So when you say mass produce, how many. Are we talking about here for a first ship? Oh, you know, I would start with at least 15, 20. And then, uh, you know, we can kind of make them on demand as far as the orders come in. And then I have one more big pitch. Mm -hmm. We'd love to host a live show at the Emporium. And I can guarantee you it's going to be a sellout. And the reason for that is if we don't sell all the tickets, I'll just put dolls in the seats. I think that'd be more fun. (laughs) Thank you, Ray. Having dolls in the seats. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Huh. Yeah. And you know, in a fun way, that's respectful because they're not using Alba. It's just some Albanian. No, you meant uh, you. I think you interpreted it that way. I don't think that's what he meant. But I'm just saying they're very respectful there. I Mm. like it. Okay. Tasteful. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. I mean, I think it's look. If Barstool's open to it, Dave, you know what, Dave? Send an email to the salespeople and and put Eric on there and see what their uh, their level is. Yeah. Run it up the flagpole. Yeah. See if it see if it lands. I don't know. We load it up. Load it up. Twenty thousand. Ah, but look, it could be a big seller. (laughs) This year, <laughs> they sold twenty thousand of those. Uh, that'd be good for business. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Hello, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin and his boss have to be fucking right. Why do you say? Yes, that? I think so. Why? I saw them make out at the uh, Wilbur. That's different. That's first base. Well, that's true. Yeah, you know, it seemed well, like there was say, sex in the air. I, Justin loves this guy. I'm telling you, Mike, have you met this guy? <laughs> I think I'm, I don't know that I knew who he was when I met him, but I did meet him, I think. This guy is so challenged, I can't even tell you. <laughs> this guy is s- a sweet guy, but like, I can't imagine he even knows how to start a car, much less operate one. <laughs> I that thought he was a big help there. What did he do? I don't know. I thought he was he a big in charge of merchandise. Yeah, he ran yeah. the merch. He seemed like, like a, you only seem like to me. I don't even know how to. There's not a higher level of criticism than this. He's like a low rent nipples. Oh boy, mm. you know what I mean. <laughs> now before you, he's con- like nipples without the nipples, but even not as good. <clears throat> before you continue, just realize that he will come up to you at this live show and go like, "Oh, do you need any help today? Hopefully, uh, I can handle it." Point. Yeah, you true. Know? Yeah. Oh shit! Right. So I'm uh, just warning you. I mean, I appreciate he brought pizza, I guess, but I don't really know why he did that. Town Spa, it's good. The idea is good, but I actually don't appreciate it. 
I kind of know. For once, I know what you cold, mean. Cold pizza sucks. And also, like, like you that. feel like you owe him, like he did something big. Oh, it's interesting. Like, That's a very nice gesture. I know, but just go to Papa's or go somewhere across <laughs> Actually, the street. Somewhere across the street where it's yeah, pizza. Actually, don't appreciate it. <laughs> I'm with him. I didn't really either. I, I think I, I had a slice, like, out of just necessity. So did I. It, but I didn't and, want it. And, 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 like, I walked in. He was selling the shirts and everything. Yep. And he had music playing, and it was Springsteen. He's like, hey, what do you think? I'm like, yeah, it's Bruce Springsteen. I, I know. Great. I'm the fan. boss. Yeah, like, all right. I don't know. I, I don't know. Now I have to deal with it. Right. What are we, in Jersey? Huh? He'll, be, <laughs> he'll be at that live show. You're right, Mike. God damn it. Right. Fuck. That's the thing. But yeah, I think, yeah, I do think they're having sex. Call it. A long way of answering your question. I do believe that's true. Sure. Yeah, I thought we just flew by that. Just, it so seems, obvious. just seems fluid to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I could see that. Yeah, yeah, he's not a judgmental guy. No, that's cool. I mean, listen, hey, great. You know, I know he's a clubbing guy. Oh, without a... Yeah, he gets on that dance floor. Yeah, he boogies. lets it rip. That's yeah. right. Hello. Hey, fellas. This is Mike checking in from the beautiful Stanford, Connecticut. How are you today? Well, home of uh, <clears throat> the uh, right now controversial World Wrestling Entertainment, Mike. Right. Trying to move, right? Florida, I, I think, right? Live right next door to the building. Oh, are you? Great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stretch of land on 95 right there. Magnificent. I'm looking at it right now out my window. Uh, are, you a, uh, are you a Planet Pizza guy or no? You know, it's all right. I order it sometimes. It's okay. What, yeah. what do you think? I like it. They have good garlic knots there. Oh, B plus. B plus. B yeah, plus. Stanford's missing like the great pizza spot. They just opened a Sally's, but it's not as good as the New Haven one. Oh, is that right? Um, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, you can't replicate the old ovens, I guess. I don't. No. I don't know. But Steve Robinson. Anyway, says, yeah. two two quick two quick things. One, speaking of Justin and content <laughs> ideas, I actually watched. The episode yesterday no when him and fun. Dave proposed them playing mini golf and you just shit all over him. Kurt, what happened, Caller? I'm sorry. Mike's giggling about something. I don't even know he's like a child. What are you saying, Caller? Mini golf what? Uh, I just watched the episode yesterday when Justin and Dave proposed them playing mini golf against each other. And I was just like, What was that? Incredible. I don't remember that. What was that, Dave? Don't even remember. Oh, you're lying. What was it? Do no, you remember? I, it was so, definitely I, Dave. And uh, the second thing, speaking of content ideas, which I know you love so much, Kirk. My favorite. Is I'll be in, at the main show. Super oh, great. excited. Thank you. And I'm actually, a, I'm actually a certified drone pilot, and I do a lot of interior work. I was curious, your thoughts on doing a video of flying around the crowd and you and the stage. And sure, why not? Kind of yeah, reach out to Dave. I, Email Dave. Oh, yeah. yeah, Dave will respond to that. Right, Dave? Hell yeah. What oh, do you good. think, Dave? He, Dave doesn't always respond to me. Because you're probably an asshole. But please do that. Yes. <laughs> That's true, though. Someone reached out to me and said, how do I get a hold of Dave? And I said, I imagine the same way you get a hold of me. Yeah. Just don't e just don't e DM me. Email Apparently me. not. I was wrong. Oh, don't DM me. Yeah, I don't like DMs. Sir, I'm sorry. I gave you, I led you astray. Well, there you yeah. go. Email Dave. He's a very busy guy. Yes, I didn't realize. Oh. Main show's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good mm -hmm. show. Hello. Yes, I have uh, two questions for Dave Cullinane. And one question for Blind Mike. This is the parody one, right, Mike? Or is the real That's, one? No, you're correct. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, ask, uh, ask Dave the question first if you'd like. Dave, do you like doggy style? Oh, I do like doggy style. Have you ever put it in the wrong hole? <laughs> it's two questions, but okay. Um, quickly by accident, sure, sure. <laughs> quickly. Like it was, you know, you realize. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Okay. For Mike Yeary? Mike. Yes. Does Alba help you put it in her hole? <laughs> I figure it out. <laughs> He's a savvy guy, Caller. That's right. Does she? I just said I fig I figure it out. I figure it out. <laughs> oh, hey, two questions for Mike. I'm seemed sorry. angry on that second one. Maybe that was the second question, I guess. <laughs> yeah. He might have just wanted a no from you, Mike, possibly. Oh, maybe. So, no. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Hello. Hi, Mr. Minahan. I was wondering if I could ask you for some advice. Uh, sure. Keep it together. Okay. Well, I'm going to remain anonymous because I'm just a child and I'm kind of Boston famous, so I don't want my identity to get out there. Okay. If that's okay. Sure. Okay. So one day I was at my daddy's work and I heard a man and a woman and they were yelling and it sounded like somebody was in pain. So I went down to where my daddy gets changed for work uh -huh. with his with his workmates 
And there was a man and a woman down there, and it looked like the woman was attacking the man, and I was very scared. And then, so I, I said, oh, gosh, and the woman turned around, and out of her pee-pee squirted me right in my face, and it knocked me down. And I cried, and I hurt my head. So I was wondering if I could have Mike Portnoy's number so I could sue Trenny and he may broke up. Okay, well, that was a good try. They don't all work. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I, I was not. I was. I mean, I appreciate the effort. So, did so Trenny always. have the penis in that story? That's no, how it he, sounded. Yeah, he made right? a joker, right? He said she turns around. She no. squirted. No, she. she tur- oh, she squirted. No, she but he some- said penis. Yeah, well, it was Coach Adokas, wasn't it? Do- no, I assume so. But he did. So stumble. she turned around and hit. Yeah, okay. Well. That wasn't a young girl calling. She. I'm so whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Are you load up, Dave. Load up. Oh, okay. That was a really good call. I was confused for a moment how Mike Portnoy got involved as well, but I oh, guess it would be legal, legal counsel. Legal. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey, Kirk, it's Bradley Stein. What's up, motherfucker? Oh, good. Oh, I hope you uh, I got a bone <laughs> put your money with where you, your mouth you is, Fucking pal. pussy. I have a fucking bone. To, ooh. Where'd you learn your trade? Whoever said you can work with men? I heard you what do you know? Ta- shut you shut your fat fucking mouth for a second, you fucking you. motherfucking no, bitch. Get your fucking ass here. What's your address? 372 Main Street? Fuck you, 372 Main that? Street, Watertown. Get your bitch ass down here. Get your fucking get your fucking sheet off. Take your sheet off. Leave the clan meeting and get the fucking down there, you fucking cock sucking bitch. Get here right now, motherfucker. Let's go. I'm on my way. All right, good. Thank you, Bradley. Appreciate it. He's not backing down. I give him that. That's tough. He's a fighter. Put that kind of effort into, you know, researching his guests. Maybe he'd be better off. Too busy doing push-ups, it sounds like. Well, that's true, too, yeah. Hello. Be a hell of one push-up for him. It'd be a hey. tremendous accomplishment. <laughs> guy's like 400 pounds. Turkey. Hello. Yes. 19th time, long time. Happy New Year, pal. Congratulations. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. Hey, listen, I know you're a big Bernie Madoff fan. Have you? I have. I, I did watch it. All four parts, Mike. I watched the whole Madoff thing. documentary. It was okay. I, it was, it was, it was, it was good, all, right? Yeah. I mean, I knew a lot of it. And the, um, I didn't like, like, the, not even reenactments, but they use the actors kind of thing. I didn't really like that. Yeah. I didn't realize the mother or the wife, rather, was homeless, living out of her car. Ooh, Unbelievable. Didn't end well for any of them, I don't think. No, it did not. No. No, no. no. Thanks for the call. It did not. No. No, no, no. And I, I look, I just, I don't know. I'm, I find it hard to believe that they, the, the sons didn't know anything. I just don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe they didn't. But that seems I believe, not a great defense anyway, anyway. I believe he would keep that from them. I guess. You know, to protect them in some fashion. I guess, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of suspicion over the years. I mean, you know, stories got spiked and. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But it's good. It's, it's like if you want a little Madoff uh, fix, it's four parts. It's it's pretty It's pretty good. They came out pretty hard against him if they didn't know. Who's that? The kids? The kids no, no yeah, question. Look, yeah. I mean, look, no doubt. No doubt. Hello. Good morning, Kirk. Adam Rich calling from Beyond the Grave. Oh, very sorry, Mike. It is enough child, sir. Adam Rich died. Uh, oh, no. Over the weekend, yes. I made it to 54. I hit the over. Child style wise, didn't I? I guess you did. That's fair. That's suppose. a good way to look at yeah, it. I suppose. Did you did you reach out to Grant Good Eve? Is he okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Couldn't keep it together. It is enough to fill our lives with love. You know, it was originally cast on that show it was Mark Hamill, but got Star Wars. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. Wow. Did not need it. Yeah. Hello. Chairman, how's it going? Going fine, thank you. Hey, did, hey, did Featherston text you yet? He did not. No. The, uh, the 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 two year payoff for me going up to Madawas is finally going to do it to get the bridge named after you. <sighs> That's a good question. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> we did we did do the story this morning. Uh, so what, is the, is the bridge going to be? Is the bridge like done? Where, where are we at with it? I didn't watch the story. I have no idea. I have no idea. I saw you commented on it. I didn't see the story. All right, cool. Um. I wanted to call too because you were a uh, trivia answer the other night at the tri- at the uh, trivia dot the Wuben Four Corners ninety nine. Oh, oh, is that right? What was the question? Yeah, the question was uh, what former WEI sports host and current podcaster helped solve a crime in South Carolina? Wow. Pretty good. That is when you know you've made it. And we'll never be booked on Not news. <laughs> Everybody laughs. laughs. 
Uh, hey, that... Mr. Mike, it was between you. It was between you and Hulu this year, and I, I went with you for the Patreon. So, oh, correct. what a guy! I know you lost Plummer as a yeah. Hey, yeah I had to throw you. You guys want a recap in your life for uh, <laughs> any, other, any other subscription <laughs> recap you want for the listeners? They're fascinating. Rob's a good man. <laughs> All right, Rob. Thanks for calling, buddy. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Later. See you. Run him for a Friday. For you, great. Yeah, sure. Have fun with it. Hello. All right, we'll have him on. I like Rob. He's a good guy. I like his mom. Hello. Hello, this is Nathan from Blow Up Milk Manufacturing looking for a Michael Geary. Now, hold on a second. I don't know. I sense the table's turning here, and I don't know if I care for it. I mean, if you, if you, if you legitimately owe somebody a bill, Mike, I mean. You have All right, to well, let's hear his gripe. Go ahead. Well, certainly not a gripe, sir, but very, very, very oh, happy to have you. A see, customer. I told you. Oh, good. Uh, oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Trusted value. We, um, just wanted to follow up. We got a couple of questions just to make sure that everything's going to go smoothly. Please, I Jesus can't wait fine. to hear them. Um, one second. Uh, one, one sec- Nathan, one moment. Like, how long until one of us is actually just fucking one of these dolls on this show? <laughs> I mean, we, we talked about it so much. I mean, like, this show is slowly turning. It's gone from supermarkets to sex dolls. It's show prep. What? It's a write-off. <laughs> <laughs> it's show prep. I mean, Dave was Dave was legitimately titillated by that doll I sent him the other day. It, it, it rattled you. I was intrigued there. by it, yes. Would you consider... Uh, well, we certainly hope it's BMM product. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Call yes. it. Please. Please, yeah, yeah, Nathan. Yeah. I didn't mean to get your way. Continue. There's a bidding war here now. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Nathan. Uh, just to follow up, a couple specs before we fully put this in production. Uh, you requested the couscous filled breasts, correct? Sure. <laughs> All right. The salami nipples? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. That's an option? <laughs> That feels like they wouldn't Is age. it all food related? Hey, we all. <laughs> that wouldn't age well, but okay. All right, you requested the salami nipples, Mike, yeah? Yes. Uh-huh. And finally, uh, the size 12 men's feet, correct? Sure, right. <laughs> Only by the goodie. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We're mixing worlds here. <laughs> I, would, I, would like, I would like to see Mike uh, l- like licking and eating the nipple of a sex doll with sure. salami on it. That, I, would, I, would, I might pay for that. A real that. Frankenstein of pleasure this man has created. <laughs> <laughs> I might pay for that. Yes. Uh, good news for you, too, sir. Uh, we were able to, in Braille, of course, on the clitoris, put blindmike.net just for you. Wow. That is, I like that a lot. There you go. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Well, pays to be we a, do it all. a good customer. And then finally, <laughs> just waiting to hear back from a, a David Cullahane. Uh-huh. Uh, you had mentioned here on the order form, he had the sound you want him to put in the voice box, something about your mother shrieking your name. We just need him to send that over so we can finalize the voice box. My hey, we can do that. It was off of that. Yeah, I believe that's it. No, no, no. All right, Nathan. <laughs> I don't believe that is it. Jeez. Hmm. Boy, quite a competition working here. I know. I feel left out here, but okay. Hello. Soon enough. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Moss Dudley will be calling <sighs> by Friday, I suspect. Hello. Hey, what's up, guys? What's so I know up? we talked about like how brutal the Rogan interview was with Prez, but Rogan is legitimately Kevin Cullen. Did you listen to any of that part about why he said he's never done cocaine? I did not. Yes. Is that the stuff that he went into with like so the Whitey said, Bulger shit? Oh, I heard about this. I didn't listen to he it. Said, he legitimately said his sparring partner um, got super mixed up with cocaine. Ended up trying to murder a guy, broke all his bones with a hammer, but then started injecting the guy with cocaine to keep him alive and then cut his head off. And Prez just, like, didn't even see it. He's like, oh, wow, really? <laughs> like, I forgot that part. Jesus. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. legitimately the most made-up story of all time. I have to listen to it. Uh, this guy just tweeted out the – thanks for the call. The Shane Mudgett guy just tweeted out his uh, – the guy was coming in Friday. Yes. This guy looks like a mess. Uh-oh. Looks like a, 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 a what's his face? Um, the idiot you tried to get Steve fired, the military guy, Chaps. Oh, okay. Yeah. You thought it was gonna be like a Roger Sterling type walking in here. <sighs> One would always dapper. <laughs> Want me to cancel him? No, it's fine. Take it easy, Dave. It's fine. Jesus <laughs> God. The loyalty. Hello. Oh, hey. Um, I was just calling because uh, earlier on this episode, uh, you were talking about uh, that Brian guy that invited you for an interview um, or whatever, but you said that uh, he was the worst thing that God ever came into, like, came, or came out of God. Yeah. So were you, do you believe, I, I respect everybody's, like, spiritual, religious beliefs, <laughs> but yeah. so I just want to get straight. You believe God, like, 
ejaculates into every woman and yes. like talking to every well, animal. Well, if you're, like gonna believe, if you're gonna believe in God, which I, you know I, I obviously wrestle with, but yeah, I mean, if you believe in it, you gotta believe God's there for the creation, right? Well, yeah, I was thinking like, is sex good or, or are you coming because God is inside? Oh, no, God's in charge. No, if, if you believe in God, God. If you believe in God, God is in charge of all. So he, he decides when you come and when you, of course. Yeah. Inside all of us. Yes. Don't you think? Even like preg even pregnancies like that are from rape, so like he's raping yes. those women. Well, he's, and like, uh, oh, wow. Ooh, good question. Yes, I guess so. I suppose so. I yes. mean, everything. Like he's well, a okay. deer, fucking well, deer. He's What's the old mice, Holocaust argument? Or like kids getting molested. Like God knows that's going on, right? Yeah, I, I've been a Catholic my whole life, but I'm kind of on board like thank i think you. you've converted me well, that's a weird way to do it but yeah listen happy to do it thank you no no appreciate it thank you all right maybe a virgin mary sex doll i don't know it's very yeah. important important work happening here yeah real investigative work see yes one or two more dave that netflix golf uh series february 15th i just saw that yeah. hmm. i'll be i'll be curious to see how uh sanitized that is you know yeah. the pj tour obviously is full it's, you know has their hands all over it, so you know my issues with them lately. So. Hello. 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 Good morning. This is Dave Cullinane's burner account on Twitter, Boston Radio Watch. Uh -huh. yes. Get a load of this on this day in 1992. <laughs> Nirvana appeared on NBC TV Saturday Night Live, performing two songs, "Territorial Pissings" and "Smells Like." Teen spirit, which is something Dave said the cupcake when asked, What's it like to win? And tweet. Thank you. I remember that watching that live. Yes. Wow, geez, a long time ago. Hello. I'm surprised a cupcake fuck doll hasn't been auctioned Ooh. up yet. That seems like something you might legitimately. I think that's a little too If I came to you with a. Well, what? If I came to you with an offer. Disrespectful. <laughs> She's a friend of the program. I'm just saying, would you turn it down if well, I brought it? Small things having to do with this fuck doll. Yeah. Cupcake things a little too far. I actually think, ironically, <laughs> I actually think that doll is probably best built for Mike because we know Cupcake won't fight back. <laughs> <laughs> now that is, that's not appropriate. <laughs> now <laughs> I see, Dave. Now I understand <laughs> it's, <laughs> what over the line feels like. God. Now I know. I have haunting memories of Cupcake with those. Jabs against Alex Ben that Jesus yeah. haunts me to this day. You think they? I was thinking about the this. beating she was given. Sorry, Mike. The beating she was given those bags and watching her work out that that day. I was like, this is a legitimate killer. Yeah. What happened? We were wrong. That was a low light of the year. Yep. I would say. I had to get a you know I had to get a uh, restraining order against somebody for going after my family. This was the lowest <laughs> moment of the year. It was, it was, it was watching uh, Cupcake, who we love. Legitimately, flat out straight lose. He can't even. He can't even make a case. Yeah, and they complain after. I know. We did everything right. Like we oh, did yeah, it on yeah, our yeah. end. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. I was the star of the show. Yeah, there's no doubt. I like she, a, you had her fired up the night before. She wanted. To she made Kirk Minahan look bad. She did. She was crying after she apologized. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. But down deep, I was like, I. You should be worried. Yeah, be yeah, more yeah. worried. Apologize more. Yeah. But I like cupcakes, so you know, she's always part of the family. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Did you know that? There's a little bit of a 90210 connection between New Amsterdam. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't. Who's on there? Yeah. So the main character, I don't, I don't know his name, but the he played the English teacher Ryan Matthews in that awful reboot that they did in, on oh, the that CW. Is, that is a light. In 2008. That's a, that's a light <laughs> connection. Just an actor. That yeah. one. That's a light connection. Yeah. No, 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 but, no. I won't allow it. The show is the show is uh, that Roe v. Wade promo is basically every single episode. I think I have to it's watch it. another crazy liberal thing. It's I've watched it for three seasons. It was it, I had you to did? give up on it. It hung was in there. Insane. You did by yourself. Three seasons. You're fucking serial killer. Yeah. So you're the guy we were talking it, about. It's it, it, it's good bad TV. Yeah, I get that. I do understand that. Like yeah, that's different. I guess that's different than what we were talking. About. Like lately, for me, I put Highway to Heaven back on my uh, pass on the uh, on DVR. It's on like one of these religious channels. I could watch fifty of them in a row. It's <laughs> fucking great. I can imagine Highway to Heaven might even be better than Quincy for you in, in retrospect. But you know, oh, probably you don't mess. Well, at with, this point, you, we got to finish. Yeah, yeah, you don't mess with. We're almost done with season three. It's you know, you're four years left. Three. <laughs> that's right. Four. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Well, it was like the first season was like six episodes, right? It was four. God. <laughs> yeah. When's the next watching? I'm blind. Every, like every Tuesday. Oh, so you did one yesterday? Yes. Okay. What happened yesterday's episode? Oh, very exciting. Um, We're good, Dave. We're all set. Okay. 
What's that? Quincy basically had to put together, found a skull on a, uh, a, a bo- local biker's um, handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, he purchased it off the guy for $52 so he could reassemble it and figure out whose skull it was. Wow. And uh, sure enough, it was a union boss. Oh, boy. Yeah. But he was, the episode, <laughs> the episode is titled Passing. Passing? Yes. And it's because, I don't uh-huh. know if this title would have flown now, the murdered victim, they couldn't figure out exactly who it was because he was a black guy passing as white. Really? <laughs> yes. That's the episode? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty good. Look at some, see if there's any good guest stars I recognize from this. I'm looking it up right now. I don't really see anybody in this one that I would know. No, it wasn't a, uh, they usually tell, I look on IMDb. Yeah, I usually tell you. I don't really recognize, which I usually recognize two or three people from shows like this. Let's see. Gary Walker. You've had some good stars, though. Yeah. Joanna Kearns, Jamie Lee Curtis made her acting debut on Your Quincy. Debut on Quincy, I knew that. Casey Kasem. Sure. Mr. Feeney. So you're almost done with season three. Yes. You're getting there. Uh, let me see. You know, we soldier on. We, uh, I don't like to brag, but we... <laughs> Put our heads down and get to work. Call us to murders next week, Mike. That's exciting. February 3rd, 1978. Oh, I wonder yeah. if Quincy's been framed. You think so? I want to. about we'll, to find we'll, out. We'll find out, yeah. We're going to find out. Uh, what else, Dave? Anything else? No, no. Do these guys get paid individually to do that show? Or is it through the PGA? Like, do they... I don't know that. How does that work? I, don't know. I mean... Whatever. Looks good. Only a couple, you know... I, uh, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Don't like the name, though. Full swing. Don't like it. It's easy. No. It's lazy. I don't think it's going to be a massive hit either. That's like a niche. Yeah. What is the... Just following the PJ Tour, like, selected players for a season. So, like a, um, what do you call it? Hard Knocks for yeah, golf? Yeah, exactly that. Okay. Big names, Rory, Spieth. A bunch of guys went to liver on it. Could be interesting. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. I'll be curious how they how they do it. So, it's oh, so it's, fit, so it's pretty soon then. Yeah. Good. I mean, I'll obviously give it a shot. Um, Tweet of the day right here. What's that? Bailey, former Barstool employee, proposal story. I planned a trip to L.A. to do it there. Yesterday, I picked up the engagement ring, walked into my apartment, looked at the most beautiful girl in the world. And I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's a, that's that Carlin <laughs> that guy? Is. Yeah. Yeah. He seems like a nice enough guy. I don't know if I know him. B.W. Carlin? Is that yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't... I don't really know what he did for the company. Why did he leave? Was there like a thing or no? He started his own business. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think there's any controversy around it. That's why Khan's having a baby. His wife's having right. a baby. Congrats. Yeah. 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 Hopefully people lay off her during her pregnancy. Yeah. We'll find out, find out the name and we'll uh, <laughs> give this kid a good razzle. <laughs> I mean, leave this kid alone. <laughs> um, hey, I don't I think I said the other day, I don't know if Rico's going to be in Arizona or not. I don't know. I don't know he's going to be there. I was saying to Dave, I haven't heard much from him. I see him uh, tweeting about blogs a lot. Yeah. But I haven't uh, seen any clips or anything. Call uh, call Stacy. We'll get an update on this bridge. I'm curious about this Madawaska bridge, Mike. Okay. We always have Stacy on. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had Stacy's number. Ooh. Yeah. Sure. I think you got to you got to Google the grocery store. Same the grocery store, Mike. My God. This is bad. Oh um. But don't look it up yet. Uh, don't tell us, Dave. It's a name. You're right. Related Mike. to the city or something. Related. It has some relation. There's a I reason it's Do you have it, Dave, or no? Uh, I'm coming up. It's not Paradis. Paradis. Yep. Yep. Paradis. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> she might not even be there anymore, Mike. I was thinking that. Yeah, that would be sad. It'd be terribly broken up. People buy that doll, I think. I don't see why not. Oh, definitely. Yeah. People liked her. Yeah. Do people want a Mercedes doll with like a dildo? That'd be a fun one, for sure, yeah. A Paradis shopping, Chase. Hi, Stacy there. Hang on just a moment. Thank you. Sure enough. <laughs> what a run. <laughs> the same woman who probably was on the edge of the phone. That's how it works there. <laughs> Why is the connection always bad on stuff like that when you wait? Well, up there, I imagine it's... All I think of is Vanderbeek. That's it. Just fucking strutting around. Yep. Hello? Is this Stacy? Yes. Stacy, it's Kirk Minahan. How are you? I'm good. Good. You're live on the show. It's been a while. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. How are you doing? 
Good. Good. Business is good. Huh? Business is good. Yeah. We're yeah. We're, I mean, the, we're good. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say we're we were busy during the holidays, but things have calmed down. <laughs> good, good, good. We we were a couple people tweeted at me this morning about the bridge. There's, uh, there was updates on the bridge. I was wondering if you just what's going on there. Well, they're replacing the bridge. Right. So where are we at in the process? Oh gosh, I have no clue. Oh, you don't know? I know. No, I haven't been down there. Um, there I think there's pictures online somewhere, but I don't know exactly where they're at. I know it's not even not close. Close to being ready. Like oh. I think it's going to be another. What are we? I think it's going to be only next year when they open it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we came to the right person. Well, I don't know. she's a she's a she's a local. No, I no, she's... no. You didn't come. To... Bruce would know more. That's true. How's Bruce doing? He's good. Good. The kids, every family's good. Everyone's good. Family's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we'll see. We, we may come up in the next year or so. I don't know. People hate how us. Are you guys, now. How are you guys doing? We're good. We we miss you, but uh, you know, people up there they, yeah. don't, they don't like us. So you know, we came and no, the, no there was issues with Rick and there was a whole bunch of oh, things. Big issues Mike, with Rick. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Ah, oh, that's not fun. No, but we like we like <laughs> a lot of people there, so you know we. we we may come back up. If we do, we'll uh, we'll let you know. Yeah, well, the last time you came, I couldn't attend because my son was having his graduation. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's Did right. Guys, I don't think you came again since then, right? We have no. not. No, no, we have not. No, maybe we, 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 I think we might. What do you think, Dave? At some point in 2023? Why not? We might, Mike, yeah. you know? Sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll let you know. We'll keep in touch, but... uh. Uh, it's good to hear your voice again, and we'll check in soon. Mike, do you want to ask about the egg shortage before she goes? Oh, yes, yes, yes. How are eggs looking up there? Oh, that's perfect. You're in a grocery store. Do um, you guys have eggs? That's we, why I told you to ask the question. We still have eggs. I hear there's some places that you can't find any eggs. Yeah, but some people are expensive. saying, yeah. It's like 5 $6 a dozen. What is the there normal price for a dozen of eggs? Like a normal, regular like, price? used to be $2. Yeah, dollars <laughs> Things have gotten crazy. Unbelievable. Jeez. All I can do is yeah. use this platform for good. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Well, Stacy, yeah. it was good to talk to you. All right. All right. We'll see you Take soon. Care. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Egg, she knows about bridge not so much. I would. That's to I be lived, expected. Yeah, but if I lived there, I would care about the bridge. It's a I, big. Yeah. That's a big Bruce thing. And that's well, well. She said Bruce knows more. Probably. I know, but her husband works on at the end of that bridge in Canada. Well, yeah. No, no, that's Mike. why he knows more. He has never. You've never been to Edmondson. You don't yes. know what it's like. You've never been over that bridge. He probably doesn't come home. He doesn't bring that home. Oh, I should ask about the McDonald's too. Well, that's long gone. I know, but just you know, what's there now? Yeah, interesting. Remember the McDonald's person was all pissy with us. Very. That was the start of all of this. The, the can I say that? People... Can I say that Stacy seemed a little cold? A little bit, yeah. Am I wrong, Dave? You'd think she'd be no. more. She hasn't heard from you in what, yeah. year, two years, a year and a half, something like that. I think he just caught her off guard. She wasn't expecting it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not pounding that doll if she's going to have that attitude. You know what I'm saying, Mike? That's right. Can't make any money off that. Yeah. No, Stacey's a wonderful person, but I don't, uh, I I just don't think we're welcome there. No, definitely not welcome. If that's your goal. But maybe that's why we go. Right. That's that's the issue. Right. You know, maybe we have to, maybe we have to do that. I don't know. Have you ever been in that supermarket? Yes. Oh, was that? It was pretty nice. Yes. I think both, we might have gone both years. We went both times this year. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead, Mike. Give the, the floor. Talk about eggs for a moment. Go ahead. I've talked enough. I've, said, no, I've no, done no, what no, I could no, do. Well, people need to know. I appreciate the, the few people out there. Many have mocked me. But I've there's seen some I've seen soldiers out there that are telling me eggs are either completely out of stock yep. or outrageous. $10 a dozen in some cases. Yeah, so I'm terrible with prices like this. I'm like when George Bush ran for president, you know how much milk was? <laughs> 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't have said $10 for eggs, but I would have thought, you know, so I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I will admit, I didn't think five was as crit, but in Madawaska, it probably is. What is going, why is there a shortage? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. There's the avian flu. Oh, right. That's bad. That's wiped out a bunch of birds. Yep. And there's another reason I can't remember. Oh, you're really on top of the story. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jeez. Well, excellent, Mike. Well done. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, well, it's good to hear from Stacy again. I, I, uh, someone will tell us the last time she, we spoke to her. I guess it was probably then when she told us that she wasn't going to the last show, right? Right. Which is probably a big reason why it fell apart. Um, Just not having her there is sort of an emotional glue of the of the event, I think. People probably, you know, led a lot of rancor in the area, I guess. I suppose it was still, the event itself was good. Yes. Nobody was, I mean, neither Steve nor Dave was there, right? No, it was that Carano. That was Carano. It was a Carano yeah. me, you, me, you, and Carano, right? Justin, right? right? Justin, Justin. Was there, yeah. Justin was, there, was there catering at that event, Mike? There was. Was there? Oh, was that right? There Who certainly was. was. That's nice. Was it good? 
it was just as good as the soccer <laughs> events. <laughs> that's, <not> right. <laughs> that's the takeaway from that event. I think I went on a boat with a bunch of old people, I think, at one point. You did? Yes. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, and there was a lot, of, a lot of bugs in the air, I remember. But we had a good time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure TJ Hubbard puked at the hot dog contest, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We don't give, an, like, we are coming up on the anniversary, the three-year anniversary of the first Madawaska show. Yes. It's my still my favorite show, just above the Wilbur by, like, a just a smidge, even though Mike ruined it. But, like, sure. the, I mean, just the event. Like, we don't talk enough about the fact that, like, literally people were driving in the worst blizzard <laughs> in, like, the last 10 years in the state up to Maine to go to this thing. Quite you guys did a show Friday night at the, in Rex, right? Yes. So what was, I don't remember the Rick Justin thing. Basically, Rick screwed him over last minute. Pete, that and is, used you, like you made some joke about Rick on the show. And, and Rick that. essentially used that to back out last minute. Right. So and it was so, pretty rude to him. So if Rick didn't back out, I would have saved $30,000. Probably so, yeah. Right, because we were using Rick, yes, right? Rick cost you $30,000. Right, right, isn't that why we did the catering? Unless Justin would have called Rick at that point. So can you get down there? <laughs> <side? laughs> Bring the pizzas down there? <laughs> a bit cheaper, it's so like one person though. They had a whole team down there. Right. Um, oh, that's right. Because remember I talked to Rick. Rick was like sending me this text and he was like, wild. Remember? I didn't care for it either because then he started... He would like he was like taunting Justin and right. sending him weird messages, and he had Minifans fans come in that night, and he was like shit talk Justin to that. Like, I had call, like call big to Ricks right now, Dave. Would you? Sure. Let's see if we can settle this. <laughs> Feels like it's time, doesn't settle it? This. Yes. Well, I want to be welcome back there. That is our town, Mike. I mean, I don't I understand. You know, but if people don't want you there, they don't want you there. I don't. Yes. The Patricia Minahan advice, as John Stewart called it, I believe. That's true. She did, or he did rather. Yes. Big Rick's Burgers and Wings. This is Jana. Is Rick there? No, he's not. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm good with you then. Jeez, hang up. Bitch. I like to imagine what her, <laughs> her next 10 minutes will be like. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, I'm sure she's wonderful. Um, I like the other pizza place better anyway. I, Jeff's was much yeah, better. Jeff's is better pizza, right? For sure. Yeah. We couldn't do a, you know, couldn't do a show at Jeff's. It'd be tight. That would be tight. Yeah. 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 We were there in the, so we were there the summer of 2021. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Steve yeah. gone. So that was just, you Steve must start right there. after that, Dave, right? Yes. Yeah, he couldn't make, you had hired him. And he had a prior engagement. Well, like, I didn't it was start a, here. When was it? No, you hadn't started yet. It was oh, like yeah. the week you hired him or something. And somebody wrote some hit piece, remember? Some idiot? Yeah. Yes. Jesus, you can't win. I, is, it, well, is it not the person? Like, I figured it's the same person who writes all the articles. You threw out there. the name Hannah. I thought that might have been her yeah, name. Yeah, is that the Heather bridge article? Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't the bridge article person. Yeah. This person was, you know, you're right, Mike. I think it was like Hannah or Heather. Yeah, you're right. I think that's the name you That's right. the name you said, Hannah. No, but this was, this person, oh, well, maybe. I'll look at that. Yeah. No, it is her name. But it's a different person. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a different person. But it was a total hit piece. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. I don't know. We should be at the opening of the bridge, but whatever. Nobody cares. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The Kirk Minahan Bridge. Um, we burnt by the, by the end of the year. It's probably true. So anyway, you know, who knows? Maybe, we're back. Maybe we'll be back in Madawaska. We never did a fall show there, Dave. Have you ever been there, Dave? I've never been You're there. You're interested in going. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Quite a drive. Yeah. I bet you in the fall, it's a nice drive, Mike. Probably is really nice. Fall, I don't know. How early does it get rough up there? No, I'm saying like September, October. Okay. The, 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 mm. the trees, the leaves. Yeah. The hotel was nice, actually. It was, The hotel was very nice. I feel, like, was, I feel like Ryan was with me on that last trip. Maybe I'm wrong. Hit Santa's Village so. on the way back? Huh? Hit Santa's Village on the way back? Yeah, right on the way back, Dave. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. Seems it. It's only eight hours out of the way, I would say. What, what town is Santa's Village in? <laughs> I don't know. You have a pen in your mouth? Huh? You have a in pen your in your mouth? Yeah, the cap. Oh, Take yeah. it out. You're on a fucking show. It was too sad. I wasn't talking with it on. Yes, you were. Yeah, how would we have known? Yeah. Stop doing that. I was breaking it with my hand. Stop doing that, I said. It was in your mouth. Yeah, but then I... I was, Shut up. It was in my hand most of the time. <laughs> yeah, that's not the time we were alluding to. <laughs> oh, right, so sh- and then I, Jefferson, New Hampshire, Dave. Oh, Jefferson, okay. Jefferson, New Hampshire... How far? Take a guess, David. How many miles is it to Madawaska? <laughs> I, I don't know. By the way, I would be totally wrong, too. So. I don't freaking know. 350? Actually, I don't think it's a bad guess. I was going to say 390. Three, 
Three seventy nine. Guys are both wow. pretty close. Okay. There you go. Just a quick six hours and forty eight minutes. Yeah, with no snow, it's probably an easy. Dr- well, it is because we did it. The yeah. Marham one applies for "Did we win?" and three is back trademarks. Oh boy, we're good for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's but, feeling better, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't do the legwork. <laughs> um, they said Dave was reading something this morning where they were like, uh, "Demar Hamlin was jumping for joy during the Bills game," and I was like, "That seems like big news." He should be in the lineup. Next week. Said he stood up when they ran it back. Yeah, yeah. Good for him. He's out of the hospital. Jeez, yeah. home, right? He'll yeah. be at the game, I would think. We all Sunday. owe Skip Bayless an apology. <clears throat> got worked up over nothing. Not us, we don't. Not no, here, not us. No, 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 no. Everyone else does. It's, it's true. true. Rip Skip Bayless if you're bar still, but, you know, let Dana White skate. It's, you know, unbelievable. <laughs> That's right. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, and Milton's as well. I have my Milton's on, so does Mike. Uh, go to Milton's.com. Get your deals. Buy one, get one free. Suit event is going on presently. Uh, three stores, of course, Burlington Mall. Sell Shore Plaza in Braintree and Chestnut Hill Square in Chestnut Hill. Uh, you know, just go there. Look around. You want your men's clothes for the winter and the uh, uh, parties. Holly, you still look good in work, whether you're, whether you're work remotely or at the office. Go to Milton's. They'll, they'll walk you through it. I can't tell you how nice they were. And I went before the um, this big Chicklets thing. Awesome. They just said how great the men of fans were, how loyal they are, how they always are friendly, polite. Uh, you guys get a bad rap, but not from us and not from Milton's. So go to Milton's.com uh, or go to one of their three great stores and get your great clothes right now. Get moving. Go to Milton's. There you go. So we're back Friday. And when I say the guest's big, it doesn't get bigger than this. Shane, the meat cutter, will finally be here in studio. I'm excited for to this listen. Call. Uh, I think we're all excited. I'm jealous you guys get to listen. I have to participate in this event. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it is bio. He's suggesting some sort of barstool person. Oh, is bio? Does? In what way? Let me see. Forgive me. I just know him as being Shane the meat cutter. I understand. Uh, I think it's a euphemism. Host of Barstool Sports History Lesson podcast. So I guess he's just well, maybe it's his own his own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, interesting. Yes, he has Black yes. Friday shirts. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So there you go. So Oh, so this is going to be like a pitch for Barstool, basically, I would think. Oh, so the Barstool Sports History... Le- is this available right now if I look it up on uh, Barstool? He called us. I remember he called us. That's how it all kind of came through. He called in and pitched himself, basically. Sports. Is that right? Yeah. Sports History... What a title. History lesson. There it is. The show is not affiliated with uh, Barstool Sports. Wow. Episode by episode. He's not done one since uh, December 28th, but... Uh, I like his logo. It's not too bad. Prez versus KFC rap badly breaks out a complete history in the episode. There. Uh, Mike, I remember that. I don't. Uh, YP and the Origins of Stool Scenes, a whole episode. It's not the it's worst, it's it's the worst idea. idea for it's a podcast. Idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. He seems like he's a stoolie, not a minifan. fan. Right. Which is fine. I don't care. Well, he's probably both at this point. Yeah, be one or the other, Mike. All right. Yeah, no, I have room for both. Fair enough. Oof, you uh, think we're getting used? Do you think I just got played? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> of course. You, know, you bought shirts. You, you gave me no proof yeah. of that. <clears throat> anyway, all right. We'll be here uh, uh, Friday with Shane. Go to uh, blindmike.net, please. I implore you to go subscribe right now. If you don't subscribe, I will commit suicide. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll commit suicide. That you're, that you're threatening that. No, you okay. like it. It'll motivate the people. Well, after dealing with this news, I just want to do it anyway. I'm so annoyed with this Newsmax guy. I'll just give him, maybe pick right. up some subscribers. If I do it, don't give him what he wants, folks. If I do it, go subscribe to Blind Mike. How's that? <laughs> Thank Le- you. You have to listen, if anybody listens to this, go subscribe to Blind Mike. He will carry on the torch. That's right. Here we go. I found some old messages. Hey, Dave. This is when he sent me the receipt. Dave doesn't care about my threats. <laughs> I've been a fan of Kirk since WEI and a fan of Barstool since 2010. There you go. He's a fan of both. Yeah. I'm a meat Please. manager at a what, supermarket. What do, you, what do you think he's going to say, Mike? He's trying to get on the show. He knows EEI. That's pretty, that's pretty good. You've never mentioned suckers. that before. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Sent the two shirts. Yeah, he's good. He's, well, he'll be good. <laughs> he'll be good. We'll start producing the business, folks. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're, yeah, the one, be good. you're the one who said, buy this shirt, you get to come in on Friday. I know, that's what I'm saying. Just so say that. Need some characters. I'm just saying that. You have to make it out like he's going to be good. You have Uh-oh. no idea. I trust Who's him. come in so far, just listeners, since we've done this? Uh, Do you come on Tante? No, I'm saying like Julie, uh, Nolan. Nolan. Is that it so far from like since sort of this era of like Snell? T-shirts. Again, that does, oh, t-shirt. yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, just the T-shirt thing, Julie and Nolan. Yeah. Yeah. 
okay. You know, Julie was good. No one was good. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. It's been a big success so far. Yeah. It's been, I don't know whether the show would do it. Yeah. You know? It's true. I don't know. So we'll see. So she maybe, and you know, maybe it's got to be a star. Who knows? That's right. A star will be born. He's from the great state of Maine. He's from the great state of Maine. There you go. Southern Maine. All right. There you go. Uh, so we'll talk to you then Friday. Goodbye.